before anything else happens, yeah, I'm going to show King Karak something on Twitter. I'm going to throw it to King Karak, mm -hmm. and you got to make sure, Austin, that you blur the screen if the screen flipped towards the camera in transit. All right, Kingy, catch. It's going to require a blur. Take, oh. a, take a look. <laughs> uh, describe in detail what you're seeing, King Krog. Don't say any handles. Into the mic, please. Some dude's grabbing on his part, his member. Is it big? Oh, damn, this feels mad sus. I would say it's like slightly above average, maybe. I he like is. it. He's putting him down. Is it bigger than yours, King? No, it's not bigger than mine. All right. That's right. We got a homegrown bigger cock than this mf -er yeah. has, and he's getting That's paid for it, this guy on screen. That's right. He's getting a lot of about 6000 a month. We know the details. Damn, what is he, a professional? So let's he put that down. Let's let's put yeah. that down so nobody can see that. Throw, throw, throw close the screen. Close the screen and then... I don't... All right. God damn it, dude. It, this is tough. Austin, I know your mosaics can get a little slippery. It cost <laughs> me the secrecy surrounding my own penis once. So I know. I know. I know be what, careful on that. I know what the fans are thinking. Oh, well, great. Another. We're talking about dicks again. Well, Listen, it's important sometimes. I really wish I could tell everybody who this was, mm -hmm. who this person is, who we found out has a gay Twitter account mm -hmm. where they show their erect penis, their soft penis, their asshole to all of their followers, oh, yeah. and then coerces those followers into signing up for the gay OnlyFans. Right. We're no doubt, I believe, according to my friend who runs an OnlyFans, the real money is made in the DMs, Danny. It's not in the monthly subscribers, but it's made in the negotiations of what video? Special videos. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I wish we could share who this person was. Can't. We, we can't, though. But we found out somebody who's very mild-mannered, unassuming, has a, a, a giant penis, mm -hmm. and B, a gay Twitter and OnlyFans. Technically, it's not wow. fully gay, but I just scrolled through the responses to the cock video that King Croc looked at, and a lot of them weren't verbal. Mm -hmm. um, how would you describe a response? Uh, it's a gay guy on a couch kneeling with his ass cheeks spread. Oh, wow. That was one of the responses? Yeah, that was a response. <laughs> okay, I'd say yeah. that's that's very forward. That's how you describe it. Yeah, I, I describe it as a forward kind of uh, move. Yeah. Just asshole spread on a couch. Is it that forward, Leo? I mean, it basically, I, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think it, it doesn't it mean just, hey, come over and just put it right up my ass. I think if you are the guy who has the Twitter account we're talking about, yes, it's an invitation. Right, it's an invitation. Or if you're Dino, because Dino pretty much has the same dimensions. Yes, he does. Skinny you, white guy, big cock. You look kind of uh, a lot like this person. Now, if there were, you know, theories about who this person might be, I believe one of them would be that that is Dino. I think so. Yeah. I and think so. This I mean, King Croc, would you say there was grody. a little resemblance? Was there a little resemblance to Dino in that video that you just saw? No, I, I didn't even see nothing, bro. I don't even remember. It's gone. He wiped the hard drive clean. I literally don't He's remember. He's like Will brain. Smith and just... Men in Black. Do you just like do you do that flashy thing into your own eyes after you see a cock? Facts, dude. Gay shit out of here. <laughs> here, bro. It's all right, King. Well, we showed everybody in our circle this account mm. because it's it's significant. This is groundbreaking. And wait, do I know this person? No. Okay. You cool. know of this person though. Every, oh, mm, not really. Mm. Everybody was jealous, mm -hmm. a little bit pissed off. But Nico, oh yeah, Nico Villacresis, who everybody knows has a little wee wee, mm -hmm. is now <laughs> on the war path. Yeah, he's, he's not happy, and and we we gotta reiterate that real quick. He has a little wee wee, and <laughs> we want to make sure that you know that. Yeah, Nico does have a little wee wee. I don't know if everybody you should know that yep. by now. Present but if you tense. don't, he does. But he yeah. has a little wee wee. Tell a friend. Mm -hmm. Don't. We're not asking you to like this video or subscribe. <laughs> we're just asking you to intellectualize <laughs> that Nico has a little wee wee. <laughs> uh, if you wanna. Tell a friend about the podcast and shortly thereafter mention that yep. Nico has a little wee-wee. I think that would be fair, mm -hmm. right? King Croc, isn't that... How do you tell people on the street about the Liam Danny show? Um, I tell them nothing about it, honestly. It's gay stuff, Leo. Come on. He's going to have to flash himself again if he says oh, that. Oh, <laughs> God, it is gay stuff, yeah. Nico, the whole time we were driving around filming this weekend, this is what it sounded like. Man, fuck this guy. Yeah. He's a piece of shit. I mean, this, he's, he goes out and he bees professionally. Hey, uh -huh. slur. 
for a living? Fuck yeah. that. I'm going to beat his ass next time I see him. Rhymes with I'll, maggot. I'll yeah. heel hook him. Mm-hmm. I'll break yeah. his kneecap. Yeah, and he's we- been uh, saying that he will be violent at first sight of this man. And it's possible he could run into him somewhere, you know, same place, same time. And he's just going to violently attack him. And we want to make it known that this uh, Nico doesn't want to violently attack him because he has an OnlyFans where primarily men are signing up. Nico wants to physically attack him because the guy's got a giant cock. Mm-hmm. That's why Nico's pissed off. Yeah. Damn, now, Nico's jealous, huh? It's jealousy. It's jealousy. But what, do you, what would you say, you know, what's the one thing about jealousy that you know, King Croc? When you're jealous of a man, what do you really want? <sighs> to be him? Yep. Or his cock in your mouth? Because you're gay. <laughs> King Croc, <laughs> that you, is, when we were uh, running the hill a couple weeks ago, you were like, man, Danny, damn, your cardio is great. How do I get abdominals like those? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's not sus, though. That's that's, not you just said that it is. You said it either means that you want to be me or you want my dick. But So which one is it? Which one is no, it? No, that was admiration. That's a whole different thing. It's not jealousy. It's not jealousy. Sounded a little jealous to me. Not jealousy. It's just, hey, I'm trying to learn from you. Interesting. Let me get to hear about that. You right. Know Right. If you, um, I got you there, didn't I? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you know that Twitter, for example. If you quickly memorize the handle and then revisit the site three, four times in a day while getting angry, what would that point to? What would you say that is? King Croc's afternoon. <laughs> is that what's going to happen tonight, King Croc? <laughs> no, no, I'll leave that to Nico. He can, he yeah. can Nico. You know. Nico's probably still looking at it right now. This fucking piece of shit. The more I look at it, the more I just want to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> and once again, Nico does not want to kill this. This guy's straight, by the way. Yeah, so whatever. That might have been a worthless tangent. Basically, a guy that we sort of know mm-hmm. has a huge cock in an OnlyFans mm-hmm. where dudes go sign up and masturbate to his photos. And Nico is really jealous because Nico's got a little wee-wee. Right. <laughs> Those are the bullet points that you have to remember. Most importantly, King Croc, what is that we have to remember? I don't know. What are we supposed to Nico has a little wee wee. <laughs> oh, King yeah, Croc. How yeah, would you yeah. not understand that that's what we have to remember by now? <laughs> this episode that's brought right. to you by Nico has a little wee wee. What else has been going on in the world, people? Well, uh, Dino's birthday. It is Dino's birthday. Oh, yeah. it Dino, is Dino's birthday. Oh, my God. Can we get him on the mic, Austin? Yeah, here. Get over there, Dino. Shit. Shit. How do we, I feel like we used to have, you, you guys used to share a mic. So, first of all, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to, to you. you. Happy birthday happy to you. Birthday happy Dino. birthday to your Dino. Happy What's birthday that? to you. Ooh. Nice. So, so, Dino, it's your birthday. Yes. You're 20 years old. Uh, allegedly. Quit making jokes. You're 20. <laughs> you are moving in the right direction. There are things about you we don't like at all. Mm-hmm. You're wearing some camouflage $20 Amazon shoes I ordered for a shoot long ago. Dude, they're, they're sick. Are you telling me these aren't fresh? They're, they're not. They're too big for you, too. By right? definition, they're not fresh, because they're I'm pretty sure I jumped sick. at a body of water before I bequeathed those to you. Water's fresh and clean, bro. Not the water I jumped into. I don't even remember what video it was, but I'm sure it was dirty. But he has been making a movement back toward becoming physically attractive. And that's a good thing. It is. We are worried about you, dude. You're dr- your drug addict at 20 years old. Uh, that is what it is. What are you doing? What are your steps uh, in the addiction process to kind of get out of it? What are you planning to do? I need to, like, just smoke more weed so I can, like, come around the cycle. You know, like... Mm. The singularity. Yeah, the singular. I need to hit the weed singularity. Mm. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I think that that's something stoners say, where you know, they just want to keep climbing a hill that never really has, and never they never get over the hill. You know, they just continue climbing uh-huh. into heaven. I guess when they die, I don't know. So for heroin user- users, they're chasing a dragon. Dino is walking slowly up a hill. Mm-hmm. Dino, it's your twentieth birthday. That means one year away from being able to go out with King Croc and Austin Schlosser and try to meet women in the bars. You know that year twenty. It seems to last forever. You're going to be trying to get into the fake ID. Yeah, I was going to say, I just need to get a fake. You're going to be trying to meet girls on Tinder who are older than you, and they're going to want to go get a drink, and you're going to be sitting there drinking a Diet Pepsi, which is strange because you really don't need to lose weight. I drink water, boy. You drink a lot more than water. I see what you put in your body. Tequila, water, the Takis. You kind of, it's a mix. I don't know how he gets tequila in his system. Really? That's I crazy. find that shit on the street. I can yeah, he just beat up homeless people. Yeah, if they, I don't know, if you did a blood test, it would be a mixture of high fructose corn syrup, um, 
I would say maybe THC. Probably some asbestos because his dad sent Dino in at the sledgehammer to remodel their house. Mm -hmm. They bought a trashed house Mm -hmm. somewhere in the wilderness of L.A. and basically gutted it. Mm -hmm. And now the value has doubled, but Dino's lifespan is halved. (laughs) I mean, wouldn't you say that's a good investment, Danny? Yeah. (laughs) It's it's worth it. Yeah, Yeah, they've got enough children. (laughs) They've got a brood, the Schlossers. What are kids for other than like to be subservient? Yeah. yeah, you do have the biggest penis, though, so your father might want to take that into consideration, or he should have taken that into consideration before sacrificing you. Uh, I mean, Austin, we don't have our old, GoPro BD going over here, I just want to point out. What's that? Once you get old, like, you can't get hard anymore anyway, so, like, it's you know, at that point, it doesn't matter. How many women do you, would you even hope to have sex with in your life? Um, I don't really care, honestly. Okay. But uh, I just want to make sure they're hot. They're not hot. Uh, that kind of sucks. I was hanging out with two, those two Chinese chicks yesterday. Yeah, well, how'd that go? Oh yeah, you went over there. I didn't. The... I didn't smash. We were filming a bit on the pier in Santa Monica. Yeah. Everybody, the whole crew was involved. Dino, he said, I didn't really see it happen. He said he went and got a Chinese woman's number, mm-hmm. and he was very proud, and she was attractive. And these guys are little anime freaks, so they uh, they fetishize anybody from Asia. Mm-hmm. Well, mostly the Chinese and Japanese. Mm-hmm. Japanese are number one. And the definitely. Koreans, dude. Can't and the Koreans. Those. Okay, so sure. You got the Chinese woman. What'd you do? All right. So, like, how I met her is, like, she was walking by going on the stairs, and I heard him going, like, sing shuang, ching wong, hung. And I was like, that's Chinese. Oh. And I was like, ni hao. And then they look at me, and then later we were talking about it. She said she thought I knew how to speak Chinese, because that's just how good I am at saying ni hao, obviously. Wow. And I was ni hao like, is Chinese? Yeah. It means hello? Yeah. How do you say hello in Japanese? Uh, Ohio. How do you say hello in Korean? I don't know Korean. Well, you better work on that. I know. I need to. It's part of the holy trinity of Ohio. Ohio. Women. Ohio? Means good morning. Ohio. Uh, mm-hmm. Ohio. Ohio. It's Ohio literally Ohio. 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 Uh, so Ohio goes must sit. Exactly. Every Japanese person <laughs> wakes up in Ohio, the state, feeling refreshed and happy. <laughs> okay, so Dino, you you talk to these Chinese girls, and the one sentence you can speak, how do they respond? They just like look at me and they like smile uh-huh. and they're like expecting me to speak more Chinese. And I'm like, fuck, that's all the Chinese I know. Uh-huh. You know that? Wow. And then they like keep walking down the beach and we film the video and I see him walk back up the stairs. I was like, shit, why the fuck didn't I ask for their Instagram? So I walked over there and then I was like, yo, what's up? And then I got their Instagram or whatever. What if they responded to that? Like, yo, how's it going, homie? I said, excuse me. Get a white talk. (laughs) Excuse me seems to work pretty sure. So when did you completely uh, fuck up and not secure uh, any vagina? When did that happen? Well, they were cousins. So that was probably a big issue. And they were also leaving like at 12 at night that day. So like, shit. And also, you're a malnutritioned 19-year-old with moldy shoes. Nah, they love me. Dude, this is hilarious. It's like these women are going to go back to China and they're going to remember for the rest of their lives their trip to America. And like their idea of an American guy is Dino Dino. hanging out with them all day. Well, they actually (laughs) live in America. One's in like Ontario and then the other one was like... Doesn't matter. What'd you do all day? We just fucking like talked. We got food and like walked around to the beach. How's their English? Everyone was looking at me like... And I was just like chilling with two hot Asian chicks. How's their English? Their English was a, it needed a little work, but it was pretty good, honestly. How good? Like 95%. So they speak fluent English? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. They're actually really smart. One of them had like two master's degrees and like a bachelor. And she's the black sheep of the family. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't have a, a, a JD or MBA. So wait, um, you connected with them in any kind of serious way would you say or yeah i told them about the youtube and the podcast and stuff if they were staying today Mm. i would have brought them on probably damn okay so you tried to make a move did you try i imagine you're rusty when it comes to escalating from doing whatever you did walking around the beach to getting them into a sexual situation the thing is is like they're like all chinese and like traditional i feel like chinese don't like touch a lot and stuff no they Uh hoes dog they are I don't know, well, man. Don't they just seemed like really. Austin, like, I resent that. They you were kind of conservative. Like, she was like, Did you vote? And I was like, Uh, yeah. And she's like, Did you vote for Trump? And I was like, Yeah. And then. You weren't she, even 18 when Trump. I did vote for Trump. This last one. 
I was I barely just made it. I understand. Okay, so what they say about the Trump voting? Uh, they asked if I missed him, and I was like, "Yeah, he was hilarious." What they say? They're like, "Yeah, Trump was cool." <laughs> Didn't he kind of fuck them yeah. over though? The Chinese? Yeah, I think he was trying to. I think he called them on their bluff when it well, came to dumping like, and, and trade stuff. They, they were like based it. Chinese chicks. Okay. They're like Chinese people who escaped communism and now they live in America. Oh, well, like, good for at them. Least in Paris is what it seems like. Good for them. Well, good yeah, for them. Dope. Dino, I, I don't like what you're doing here, though. Dino mm -hmm. is blaming it on Chinese conservatism that right. he doesn't know what the hell to do with a woman <laughs> <laughs> because he's true. been in hiding for a year. <laughs> How funny would it be if we found both of them on like an escort website for like hot Chinese bitches, uh -huh. LA? Uh huh. And then and then Dino's like, they're nice conservative girls. Yeah, and absolutely. All they were doing. And they kept giving him hints that they wanted money the whole time, and he just never got it. <laughs> like, well, they were like, they paid for like my gas and my food and shit. Huh. No, oh, they didn't. Pee, yeah, bro. they did. No, dude. they didn't. They paid for your food. Yeah, she even gave me a twenty dollar bill. Can Probably I see the text exchange, sugar <laughs> mama? You sniff it, bro? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> no, everything. This is what happened. What you really happened is Dino me. said his Chinese sentence, got her number, went home after we filmed the bit. Smoked three joints, <laughs> fell asleep for thirty hours, yeah. and woke up the next day dreaming all this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> let me see. Let me see your text you sent to these I will, women. I will. I'm doing it. Oh. Croc, did that girl ever Dude, uh, hit you up fucking... again? By the yeah, way, she hit me back. <laughs> nice. You're gonna Ooh. shit yourself. Okay, I've got these women's Instagram. Nice. Her name is LL. Are you doing anything? Uh, Okay, this is Dino the sends. The beginning was a little mad. Dino sends three <laughs> messages. Are you doing anything later tonight? Actually, tomorrow night is better for me, says Dino. My Instagram is a joke, by the way. LOL. Why right. would Dino say that? Oh, maybe because Dino has a picture on his Instagram of him in a rice picker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I may have had to like delete that real quick. Right that was whatever. smart. That was yeah. With him Good manipulating idea. his eyes to look more Asiatic, and yeah. he's got buck teeth drawn <laughs> in with Microsoft Paint. It's actually yeah. two big pieces of paper. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty Pretty genius. They're having dinner now. The woman ignores all the comment about his Instagram being a joke. She ignores his BTW LOL too. Actually, we <laughs> want to go to another beach tomorrow. Ha ha. Well, me and my friends are going to be at my studio hanging out if you want to come by tonight. Oh, wow. So, you're using yeah. this, so Leo and I, have, what <laughs> you and I are paying for is yeah. these dirt bags to try to bring women over. You bet your ass, Danny. This is a little shag pad. This is here. a shag pad. That you guys, with, with not a lot of shagging going on so far, Austin, you have had the sex in the studio. Correct? Uh, I plead the fifth. Uh, he did, but it was just when King Croc passed out. <laughs> <laughs> he packed out King, dude. So out. this is. I, I took you to the beginning because it was rough because I knew it'd be funny. Okay. But so towards we, the end, you'll be like, how the fuck? I'm looking. What? If I just I can't get over that me and Leo uh -huh. are, are financing this place being <laughs> yeah. used as. King Croc, you kept talking about where to bring chicks to because you lived with your mom. Now that's not an issue. You've moved out. But why wasn't the studio always the place? Okay, He's going to destroy the couch, bro. We'll snap it in half, breaking that bitch down. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a war zone. Dude, these fucking kids. Dino dude. knows me too well. Okay, I I'm looking. If you have time, feel free to join us tomorrow. We are going to Hermosa. You went all the way down to Hermosa. We plan to take Uber, maybe. Pay for my gas. Um, if you want, we can meet in the hotel or we can meet there. Why would these girls, I'm going to look at your Instagram in a second and I'm it's just I'm trying to figure out how they could have any interest. Danny, in you. you know, a lot of people have been telling me that it is, it is the time to be alive to, as, Dude, as a male. Any man can get like top tier pussy or any pussy they want. Oh, come on. We need it to insert oh, this picture. Go back, go back. Oh, ah. I'm going to send him a message, too, just to cock block Dino. <laughs> no, we, no. Need, we need to insert the image that Dino took yeah. of him and these two girls awesome. into the <laughs> yeah. podcast. We have to do that, Austin. Can awesome. you remember do to that. do that? Oh, yeah. Can you take a note of that? Because, mm -hmm. Dino, I see that you really, I mean, you're getting handsomer. You're making an effort, finally, but mm -hmm. you really did yourself up for this date, didn't you? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you mean? I just, like, shaved my face. You wore a button-up shirt. I guess you're wearing that right now. That's I've been sort wearing button-ups more often. They're fucking fresh. Dino, these chicks... I think they were into Dino. It's really they were. Dude, Asian <laughs> chicks actually love this guy. They could have. I mean, you could have had a, a crazy threesome with two family members. That is a dream. I didn't really want to do that. Why? Because it's gay. incestuous, and you'd go to hell. Would you go to hell for that? How is it gay? I know, well, I don't know because they're together in the bed. You said threesome with two. two yeah, two girls <laughs> in a bedroom sharing you. Is that gay? Um, mainly if, like they're fucking each other at the same time. 
That's what makes it weird. So you would monitor, if you were having a threesome with these two Asian girls who we're going to see plastered on the screen, if Austin remembers, if you were having a threesome with them, you'd have to monitor how much kissing on each other they were doing. Maybe one can nibble on the other's breast, but if she starts going for the vagina with her mouth, you're intervening. Oh, yeah. That's not (laughs) her Even cousins? No, dude. What the fuck? Cousins? What about second cousins? It doesn't even, like... It's not about that. You know, we all come How from Adam and Eve. We all come from Adam and Eve, dude. So you're related to the last girl you had sex with, you sicko. You did, it's about the gay. So them being <laughs> lesbians is more of an issue than them being I- inbred. Well, I mean, that's also an issue. But like, if they're less inbred, that doesn't mean it's still not a problem. I don't know what that meant. <laughs> but you're, the issue is really that two chicks t- making out in a threesome with you is gay. Dude, they're gay as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Danny, I don't know you forever. Really, We're dude, never going to reach Dino. The thing about <laughs> Dino is he really believes in his principles. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Happy birthday, Dino, for one. Thanks, man. It's for his birthday, two, yeah. So. Dude, multiple times I've seen Dino turn down guaranteed pussy. Why? In front of me. <laughs> it's funny. For his principles. <laughs> on some yeah, real, for like, principle, what man. principle were you serving? Well, like... Uh, it's just base, dude. Like, I'm not trying to be a cuck out here, man. Mm. If you he thinks to... a girl's like a whore or dirty or like something's off about her, she could be naked in front of me and be like, mm. I'm good. Yeah, but if we bring in it a girl with off, herpes dude. into the studio, <laughs> he'll mm-hmm. proudly spread his ass cheeks and show her his insides. <laughs> that was for the podcast. What about Kazumi's? Funny. When you grab Kazumi's titties, man, you are in... Uh, wh- why don't you chase that a little bit more? Why don't you want to chase... A sexual interaction. I have interaction. good acting skills, don't I? Oh, you were pretending to be into it. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to do with Dino anymore. I don't know either. we got to euthanize him, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to kill this guy. It's honestly just hopeless, man. I mean, he's not going to make his father proud. He's not going to make us proud. Dude, there's a reason why women like me. It's because I'm so fucking based. Yeah, but you've been given such a gift from <laughs> God, and you my were squandering I it. It made my cock huge. <laughs> squandering all of your riches. I don't. I don't like this. For him, it's like Star Wars, but instead of the Force, he's got the base. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it, it influenced how his body took shape in the womb and as a child. It guides all of his decisions. <laughs> Can you, like, would you be able to like f- reflect laser beams with a lightsaber because of your baseness? He would just use yeah, his cock. Dude. Oh god! I was born in the base. <laughs> You were merely adopted by the base. Okay, so now we're going over into Batman. I was talking about Star Wars. Bane impressions, nice. All right, I don't know how much longer I can talk to Dino. (laughs) Dino, (laughs) you lost me when you said you would interrupt the girls making out because it would be gay. Well, that's because you just can't process the baseness because you're just not built based enough. I'm not going to be able to process much of anything if I keep talking to you. All right, Dino, happy birthday. (laughs) We're going to bring you back to your chair. Go back and never speak again. What's up, guys? If you don't have a side gig uh, at this point, you're a little bit uh, behind the eight ball, as they say. Other people would call you an idiot. I would just say that you're behind the eight ball. For me, uh, it's a jewelry business right now. I have um, I sell octopo rings, as you guys know. And when I want to think about marketing, when I want to think about expanding and growing my business, because jewelry, it tends to be profitable. I have ShipStation to thank for that. Now, what do I mean by that? Like, ShipStation's the only one that kind of sets you up for growth because it directly integrates with every shopping cart and storefront. That's huge. So your products are easier to find. Uh, they're easier to manage and easier to get into the hands of my Leo and Danny Show fans. Or really, the Leo's Layer fans are the ones purchasing these rings. But either way... Handling um, the shipping for your online products all in one place means that you're opening up yourself to more opportunities to put yourself out there online. That means more growth. And that's the key when you're starting an e-commerce business or an online business. You need growth because one day this business could get so large that your hands off, you hire somebody else to do it and you go to the Bahamas and you chill and you sip on some Mai Tais and chase some tail, which should be your goal. All right. Now, whether you're starting a small uh, business, a little startup, uh, ShipStation makes ship happen. All right. Now, no uh, 
Now, you're not limiting anybody to one store, which is the key, all right? ShipStation integrates with every platform, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, makes it easier to manage all your shipping with one dashboard. And that's my personal favorite thing about ShipStation is the simplicity. Like, you want software to help you simplify your life so you can focus on the important things. For me, it's getting jacked so that when I put that ring on, my forearms are goddamn just exploding with vascularity. So then people are like, God damn, I need to get that bracelet because Leo's arm looks so jacked. See, that's what I need to spend money, uh, money on. Now, 98% of the companies that use ShipStation for one year become customers for life. I'm a customer for life for ShipStation. I'm going to tell you right now, even when they're done you know, being uh, Leo and Danny show uh, uh, sponsors, which, by the way, helping... Us means helping our sponsors too, guys, because they believe in us and we believe in them. So please check it out. Um, there's 130,000 companies using ShipStation. So it's not like you guys are, uh, it's a new product that has been tested. All right. Go look at the reviews if you really want to see what's up. Now, ship more and grow more with ShipStation. Go to shipstation.com today and sign up with promo code LDS for a free 60 day trial. 60 day trial, guys. Free. Start today and get set up before the biggest shipping season of the year. That's two months free. Visit ShipStation.com. Click the microphone at the top and type in code LDS. That's two months free. Visit ShipStation.com. Click the microphone at the top and type in code LDS. Peace. Uh, <laughs> King Croc, you're drinking a Celsius. We yes, hope sir. it's not spiked, but no, we know not. that's probably not the case. Oh, Danny, he's got a Gatorade button to his left. <laughs> Relax. And it's uh, it's a little it's empty. I wonder what it's mixed with. It's got I that wish big was, opening actually. to mix. King Croc, you're turning into that guy we see pushing a shopping cart down Venice Boulevard. That's got like 80 empty cans and bottles in it. Mm -hmm. That's gonna well, be you. This is where it starts. At the end of the day, really, I'm being financially intelligent, right? Because I can sell these back. You know what I mean? Five Tequila cents. bottles. You I'm don't getting, though. He just leaves them around the studio, and I have to throw them away. Austin doesn't even recycle them, King Croc. How do you feel about that? They go out to the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. You got me. <laughs> so, King, you really are starting. This is one of the first signs of, like, hoarding and homelessness. Is just carrying around multiple bottles that were bought, like, a week ago and just filling them up with new stuff. It is an interesting look. I think that, yeah, you're right. Maybe you should go with a canteen. Carry around a canteen. Mm. It's cool. People be like, oh, whoa, did you get, is that like a replica? Or a water jug. Are you into camping? Yeah, are you into camping? Like, a canteen is cool. Uh, bitches will like a canteen. canteen. A black man who is not afraid of the outdoors, mm -hmm. that's sweet, dude. Mm. Like a black, like, them, yeah. may, dude, Netflix, one of their employees might see you walking down the street with the canteen and offer you a show. Like yeah. you're, you're the Black Bear Grills. Dude. Yeah. I mean, there's. Not with this shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the other day I literally had to turn this inside the out. The Blue Lives like, Matter? Where yeah, were you? On the shoot with you. Yeah. Yeah, I had to turn it You probably out. didn't have to. I don't think anybody really would have minded. But, like, I actually wanted to get bitches and shit. You know what I mean? I think you can get away with pretty much anything right now as a black man, King Croc. It's, it's a great time to be alive, I think, right? As a black man, what would you say? Sure, sure. Yeah. And also, you could just, whatever you said to guilty white people, they would just accept. Like, no liberal chick. There are levels to this thing, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, a, a really fiery liberal chick who doesn't shave her pits, she can get mad, basically, on Twitter, at Dave Chappelle. Mm -hmm. That's the one black person she can, can safely go after. They would never dare to go after a black person face-to-face, -face, okay? Really? Because it violates the hierarchy mm -hmm. of victim. They what if they're also gay? If they are, doesn't matter. Are you kidding me? Lesbian versus black? What about no. trans? Doesn't come close to black, nah, dude. Black yeah. is king of the mountain right now. Yep. So King, <laughs> king Croc <laughs> King Croc could march in to a kindergarten. I'm just assuming, if you sample random kindergarten teachers in L.A. at this point, most of the teachers are probably like radical feminist chicks in their yep. 20s. Gosh, king Croc yeah. can march into the kindergarten with a swastika armband, mm -hmm. a KKK hood, mm -hmm. and a burning cross. <laughs> and she would tell him the floor is his to give a speech to the children. Yeah, you didn't mention nudity, but I think, let's take it one step up. I think you could even have your cock out completely. Guaranteed he could. And it, that's illegal, and it's definitely, you would have to go, if you're a white man, you're a sex offender. But 
not you, buddy. You get you'd get a chance to talk and mold some young minds. But here's the thing, though. Here's a flip side of that <laughs> that a lot of people don't talk about. What's that? Uh huh. The intimidation factor. Tell a, me. A lot of people can be very intimidated, even though you're not being intimidating, right? I'm unintimidating, but they get intimidated and they behave a certain way because of that. Perhaps reporting me to the police, like mm. the white. Well, that'll solve that just problem. Into, <laughs> you get what I'm the saying? Blue lives mm -hmm. matter. Yeah. So you you say people look at you and they think but, you're gonna rob me. Yeah, I just feel like I always, in certain places, I'm always having to come in super soft. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, like I don't. <laughs> I have an I, idea. I can't connect the same. I have an they idea. perceive me as a threat or something. Does that really happen to you? Yeah, no, dude. it's totally I, true. That's, I that's part it. of the black I, I gotta experience. Be careful, but I got to be careful taking him at his word because mm -hmm. he also made us believe the police who took him to jail recently were racists when they were both blacker than he was. That's I true. was saying the institution was racist. Danny. <laughs> He's wearing a Blue Lives Matter shirt talking Bullshit. about police. Hey, I will racism. say, though, I'll be out with Croc and he'll approach very friendly to a chick. Mm -hmm. And I think just because he's so big and black, at first some of them yeah. honestly jump back like they're a little scared. Mm -hmm. And I have then a they notice problem, how friendly he is, and they calm down, and then they have a conversation, and he gets the number, and it's fine. But the initial reaction is a little jumpy. I think that that's Always, a game bro. thing that you can tweak, because I have the same problem. I'm six foot four, 250 pounds, mm. maybe six, three and a half, you know, but I'm 250 pounds. Mm. And uh, women, if you go into their personal space and really kind of use a deep voice and get kind of loud like this, they're going to fucking piss their pants. You stand away out of their personal space and you make, and you use a very low and kind of neutral tone. And then? And make eye contact and, and say. Then, and then you shoot them in the neck with a tranquilizer dart. <laughs> <laughs> yes I thought that's what Leo was setting up for That's no, how Leo does I was going to say hey baby don't me up You mm -hmm. know hey baby don't me up You know if you say it at the right But here's the decibel. thing I don't want to I don't want to either be I don't want to be um, labeled as a pussy Okay You know what I mean I don't okay. want them to think I'm unconfident <clears throat> So I feel <clears throat> like if I step further away It's like there's more distance Yeah versus dude, I You, know, I, you know, mm -hmm. Sorry you know go, ahead, go ahead Sorry mm -hmm. No no go ahead go ahead but what what's the ma well, who cares if you get the number at the end of the day? You know what I mean? You want to you have to first you first come that you give them that space and you're unassuming and you're you're a, you're a stealthy little ninja. And then they will invite you into their personal space and then they will invite you into their vaginas, King Croc. It's a three step process. But you Leo. can't you can't start in their personal space and fucking force your way in there, buddy. But there is a perspective difference here, right? Because. <laughs> You're Mr. Bachelor himself, good looking guy. Appreciate it. Boom, that. model looks. You know what I mean? Me, I'm I'm, I'm more degular regular. I don't know. There's you know a black saying? man on the Banana Republic campaign right now who is not a lot better looking than you, honestly. And he's obviously well, you know, about the same diversity. weight. The same weight as you. You think it's diversity, really? Diversity bullshit. He's I see I see women going by like the Banana Republic ad at the Grove, and they go, Oh, look at that handsome man. They, they say do. that aloud. Yeah, huh? they've said it out loud. Boy, look at that handsome <laughs> black gentleman. I sure would have sex with him and anybody who looked like him. Dude, you were there too. That's exactly what they say. They do say that. Okay, and then they, if you were there, you I would just, be blown. I just feel like if I have a chance <laughs> to put that ener that alpha energy on her, yeah. then I can kind of make up for the looks difference, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm fat for sure. Right? Why don't you change but, that? You got the one oh, thing. It takes time, Nico, Dave. You know, this Come is a on. quote from Nico. When Nico was like, yeah, fuck this guy. I want to beat this guy's ass, this big mm -hmm. dick fuck. One of the things he said is, I don't give a shit that he's in great shape because the guy's muscular too. Yeah. I don't give a shit that he's muscular because I could become muscular. I hate him because he has a big dick. Yeah. <laughs> you have the asset that nobody can change, mm -hmm. dude. You are tall with a big cock. That is the role of the cosmic dice, or it's it's the metachlorians of based, as Dino says. That's what gives you the big cock. Mm -hmm. So you can change your physical appearance. Don't give me this, it For takes sure. time. You could be halfway to shredded in 30 days. True. And what? then in another 30 days, you could be absolutely model -esque. You, 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 I don't have the Go on a heavy cut. Yeah, go on a heavy cut. Three 500 calorie a day meals. Did you, did you say you don't have the capital? The capital yeah. is the will to get down on your knees, 
fucking suck my dick. No, <laughs> to start doing push-ups and squats in the backyard you have at your house in Hollywood. And I'm going to lose that much in 30 it's days. The diet, it, the diet. It's not, Leo doesn't know anything. Leo's the least no, healthy Leo's person on the right. planet. That's it, not it, true. No, you don't know anything either. <laughs> you are, you get like 500 calories a day and your stomach hurts all the time. Listen to me now. All right, I'm the only guy who knows anything about health and fitness in this room. Oh, Leo admits to throwing up all the time. And, I did and, it four times. And diet in, in one my night. entire life. In one night. And dieting and it was mostly in one year. With the help of Adderall. Listen, you Kate, asshole. The Adderall is how, when I was going on The Bachelor in Paradise, I used a little Adderall, Danny. Yes. yes. I don't know why you got to out me for all these things. <laughs> Listen, Kate the Croc, all you need to do is do some Fuck. body weight stuff. Do sit-ups, squats, and push-ups in your True. backyard. Run around the dang block. You can do it with those shoes you have right now. Do that a lot and get rid of carbohydrates. And in 60 days, you'll be a new man. I'm tired of your bitching, dude. I'm fucking tired of it. He's lost Stop a good amount of weight. Stop drinking alcohol. You are getting slimmed down. Yeah, the Stop alcohol, drinking. yeah. It's no secret to anything you want in life. There's no excuses. Just do the thing you need to get there. Do it. On the one hand, you're like... Mr. Based, actually, you're a little all over the place today. You're telling mm -hmm. me that institutions frown on you for being a black man and yeah. stuff, and then you're wearing the Blue Lives Matter. But listen, dude, you're starting to sound like an article came out in, I forget, the New York Times somewhere recently, and Bill Maher was clowning on at his show. It said, we can't fight obesity because we don't know what causes it. <laughs> that was the headline. <laughs> oh, my and you, God. And you know what dude. that was? It's these people that everybody is so afraid of offending these days. And I get it, dude. There's a lot of pressure that you might lose your job, that you might get, I don't know, uh, ostracized from your social circle. But everybody is so afraid of the PC police that they can't say what's fucking true. And what's fucking true is you ate your way into the body you have currently, and you can push up and squat your way out, dude. Mm. All right? That's what it is. There's no mystery around this. There's no, like, you gotta, feed, you don't have to be, you don't have to have a nutritionist and a personal trainer and a life coach following you around the whistle as you jog on the beach. You're drinking a fucking Celsius with 800 grams of sugar in no, it no, right now. No sugar in you dumbass. And whatever there Guess is, what? whatever there is, listen, Zero I don't calories. care. Give me the label. I just did a show with Adam22 where we read the label on these things. Uh, Do you think the path to losing weight is paved with. With with citric acid and sucralose and vegetable oil. Sucralose is a fake uh, sugar that they also put in a lot of gums and shit. It's uh, long term could have some effects, like give you cancer and shit. But uh, you know, studies they are trying to poison us. So fucks up some sense. rats, you know. It fucks up mm. some rats in the labs. I'll tell you that. There's much. a proprietary blend of Meta Plus, Metal Plus, Meta Plus. It is Meta Plus. We've got um, parthogenic acid. We've got biotin. We've got Ooh. niacin. We got riboflavin. Oh yeah, dude, riboflavin's you, great. Yeah. This is a trip to the cancer expressway, my friend. I fucking get. I rip some riboflavin, dude. In fact, fucking I'm not gonna nice. give you this back. Honestly, Danny, what? if if you had cancer one day, yeah, I would do everything within my powers to do what to rid you of that. What would you with eat? the aid uh -huh. of biohacking? No, dude. Because I was, obviously you don't yeah. get it, dude. You I don't get it. King Croc would come into the to your hospital bed after you've been hidden with chemo. You've been doing chemo for like three days and you're just almost about to pass out. And he'd, he'd try to give you like a fucking weed cookie that, ne that Dino made. It's like, dude, this is going to, this is it. It's going to fuck up the cannabinoids, dude. And like, it's good for you. Low key. Take it. Oh, the it sure knows a king. He would come in with a trash bag that he just <laughs> filled up for products at GNC. Oh, yeah. And. I don't know. I'd point. hit it from every pathway. I'd don't, hit it hormonally. You, I, don't like, it I don't like how you would be in a hospital room with me and you're talking about hitting it. All right? I'm too weak <laughs> to defend myself. <laughs> uh, well, King Croc, so you were saying you're intimidating coming, in, uh, coming into the new social circles, and I get that as a big man. And I think every very a big black man has kind of like an entry kind of like maybe like a, what would you say? Like, what, you know what Fat Albert used to do when he'd come into the room? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. I think you, King Croc, you need your own kind of uh, theme song per se. Whenever you walk into a new room, what do you think? Let's work on it. Let's work on it for so sure. It's, it's got to start with you lifting up your shirt and rubbing your belly. <laughs> You're Why? an asshole, dude. Why? Why? Is that because that makes him comical? Okay, everybody likes the Buddha, for example. Nobody's intimidated by the Buddha, correct? The Buddha is the symbol of tranquility. Yes, and what do you do to the Buddha? 
You rub his belly. You rub his fucking little fat fucking belly. And how can anybody be racist when they're tranquil? It's true. So it begins with an action, an activity per se. And, the and this activity, is gonna this is gonna help me do what again? It's gonna get help pussy. you get pussy for yeah. sure. And now, yeah, you know what? Let's get to, yeah, yeah, let's yeah, get yeah. to the needy and the greedy, dude. <laughs> the, the needy, needy and, and the greedy, greedy. <laughs> is so, you're gonna get pussy, dude. So and then also, you know what show I really used to like when I was younger, Leo? <laughs> Rocket Power. Okay. On the skateboard. Okay. And I remember like after one of them landed in McVarial McTwist, or maybe after Reggie like scored a goal, a rollerblade. Yeah. She go like. So you're gonna go, you're to come in and go, I'm King Croc. I don't know, dude. Do, do, do you have to say his name at the end of it? I say I think he has if to he introduce himself if, at the end of that as well. If he doesn't do what we say, we're gonna start calling him King Cock. You know? <laughs> So, All right. So you're going to make an entrance, King Croc, and we're going to film it with the action cam. Yeah. Wait, are we going to have the music going, or what are we doing? Yeah, sure, yeah. Go, sure, out, sure. go out into the fucking hallway over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm come the into the door, and we're all going to pretend we're just having lunch, and a big black man comes in. You know, Leo and I are going to be chicks, <laughs> yeah, and we're going to be gonna be having a conversation, <laughs> and you're going to come in, and you got to spit some game. All right? <laughs> and you got to have, like, your energy's got to be a 15, dude. Like oh. I would be, hey, I'm King Croc. And rub your belly. Like, yeah. what are you women doing? Yeah, you got to really lean into your character. You got to do it, dude. In order to really let's, uh, you know, <laughs> let's keep it, uh, let's keep it royalty free, Austin. If you don't mind, let's not go with the WWE theme song. Yeah, let's go. Just go. Um, you trying to you trying to pick our pockets here? No wonder these royalty checks have been so small from YouTube. Royalty free. Yeah, there we go. Rester. Oh, Real, just go royalty free music. Count, rock music. Uh, rock count, music. Count That's to what. 10 and then come in. No copyright. So, Janice, uh -huh. I came all the way out here. You know, uh -huh. that writer guy who's been flying me out? Yeah. Yeah, I saw him last night and, like, his. His ex girlfriend texted him, and I think they're still seeing each other. No way. Yeah. But wasn't he paying you per, like, aren't you just basically a hooker, though? Because he's paying you every time you guys have sex. I mean, yeah, he's paying me uh -huh. because it's a gift. Oh, it's a gift? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, like, offend you or anything. I'm sorry that I called you a hooker. No, it's, it's okay. I mean, wait, wait. Oh. Wiggity, 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 wiggity. <laughs> I'm Game Croc. What's up with you? I can't hear you. Say that in the microphone. What? Say it in the microphone. Hey, who are you? We can't. You realize we can't hear anything you're saying you right now. Sit down and get on the mic. <laughs> wiggity wiggity niggas. How you ladies doing? Who are you? My Hi. name is Game Croc. It's like, oh. Oh, you like that? I, I love what he just, I, you know, I just want to say right off the bat, I love what you did with your stomach uh, when you came in because it just disarmed you. It disarmed you immediately. Yeah, and like I just want you to know that like as a white woman with what's going on right now, I'm mm -hmm. livid. I'm livid about mm -hmm. the state of our country. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, are you okay? Really? Yeah, is there anything we can do to help? Honestly, I, I need some consoling right now. What are, what are you guys doing right now? Can we go back somewhere and chill out or what? Uh, yeah, and you know, um, is is your neighborhood the right place to go? I mean, I know it's safe. I'm just saying, if you don't feel comfortable there, or if you don't feel comfortable in our neighborhood, we have a three-story apartment in Santa Monica with the views of the beach. You can come back there. Let's go back there. Yeah, okay. I, Let's go I, back there. We can have a little wine. You know, I, I want to go back right now, but mm -hmm. you you have... A loaded pistol hanging out of the waistband of your sweats right now. I Don't can worry see about that. that. Don't worry about you know, that. It just makes oh, us, the gun. It yeah. just, we're, I mean, it, on the one hand, it's hard to know what to say here because, I mean, we are so BLM for life. But also, like, we don't like what happened in Uvalde. We're very mm. anti-gun. That's yeah. good. That's good because guess what? If you don't support the police, you racist, baby. Oh. Um, you want to well, be racist? I don't want to be look racist. past this. It's okay. Just, it's just, you Give have, me your hand. Where's your car at? Uh, we want We're going gun, back to your house. But you have a 13-inch erection that's clearly visible in your sweatpants, Don't too. Don't worry, right but up. it happens. It's natural. It's Are you, natural. Is, all you're, is that all you're looking for? Just a couple of mouths to which, fill up? Which is, which is no. fine, because it's white women. Like It's fine. Like You should, mm -hmm. be, you should be expressing your sexuality as a black man and to we us. we fetishize you. We fetishize yeah. black men. So you, you feel free to fetishize us back. It's mm. you... 
you have falling out of your pocket right though. Right now, though, you have a gold chain and a Rolex, and I see also there's a driver's license belonging mm. to a Larry Schwartz, who's a 56 year old <laughs> white Jewish man. And I just I don't know where you got that. I'm sure uh, he's I, your it's, friend. Yeah, yeah, that's the homie. He dropped uh-huh. it at the crib when we were chilling, and I'm oh. about to give it back to him tomorrow. Oh, so you're gonna give it back to him? Yeah, but honestly, it's like a twenty thousand dollar Rolex. <laughs> yo, low key shorties. Yeah. A nigga need a shoulder to cry on, you feel me? Oh. <laughs> okay, what well, happened? Yeah, Why? Tell us. Tell us they, about the black they, experience. They've been persecuting me and shit. No. Boy, no, they haven't. Oh. For real. You gotta, don't, don't let them get through to you. Yeah. yeah. We know the white man, the systemic racism is crazy. I know that they've just, they've held you back. I know. Should be pissing me off when I think about my people. But then I realized, like, we only have one life. Yeah. Life is finite. Yeah. Oh, it is. I mean, and it is, so Stephanie. I mean, it we is. We should definitely yeah. it is. You know, make I, sure we can use that. You life. know, I, I like that he's an empowered black man who came in here with a 13-inch throbbing erection. Me too. He's not, he's not hiding behind some kind of facade. He is who he is. I like that he has a loaded yeah. gun in his sweatpants in case, you know, if the police pull him over... He should be able to fight back. That makes the most sense. You guys live by yourself? Yeah. No, I, I'm, staying at, uh, I'm staying at the Holiday Inn Express over on Sunset Boulevard. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Does anyone else know you're there? Just the front desk people. Hmm. What's your first and last name? My name is, is, is Kendra. Is it Stephanie? It's Stephanie. My name is Stephanie Wilson. Stephanie Wilson. Yeah. Mm. Go on. Yeah, well, I just, you want to come back? Let's go. We could go back. It could be a ritual of healing. Mm-hmm. It's crazy that you're Racial almost, healing. you're, you're cockamocking yourself in this fake scenario. I mean, you had it in <laughs> the bag with us, and I don't, you just asked too many questions. No, I was joking about like trying to rob y'all. I don't think you're joking, Kick Rock. I'm worried that that actually would be. <laughs> Do you actually ask women questions like, does anybody know you're here? Yeah. No, I said that because, like, yo, what if I murdered you right now? <laughs> Are you, okay. playing, a, you playing a character? <laughs> oh, just joking around. Right <laughs> oh. So everything you did was perfect. But, I mean, if you can, just avoid getting hard when you approach women. Yeah. Okay. Don't okay. jump and rob a Jewish man. That's mm-hmm. white privilege, though, because, like, a white guy could be hard, and he could have a little wee wee like That's Nico. True. You know what I'm saying? That's but true. then black guys are forced to walk around with these giant cocks. If they're just slightly chubbing, you know, it's kind people of could true. get the wrong idea. That is, key. you're saying something right now that it's kind of hard to refute because I can be <laughs> rock hard, and unless I'm in gym shorts with no shirt on, nobody's gonna know. Hmm. And even then, they might just think it's like um, there's like a breeze, and my shorts are billowing a bit. A lot of people are talking about the camel toe in the uh, in the Berkeley video, Danny. Well, those are my nuts. They have nothing to do with my erections. <laughs> Speaking of nuts and erections, <laughs> your favorite subject? Um, no. Um, what's crazy? It's it's been re- reported of the last couple of months, but I just uh, found out about it. The distance between the average man's taint. No, no, no. The average man's anus and ball sack is decreasing, shortening rapidly. And it's kind of throwing up rag flags for a lot of, you know, truth seekers in the world. What's going on? What are they feeding us? What do you think? uh, What? what? I think King Croc's happy about it. It just saves him time when he's licking from the asshole to the balls. (laughs) No, no. Uh, Are you... The point is... Assholes are getting larger? No, at the... The ass and the balls mm-hmm. are getting closer, more female-like. And King Croc has measured at least 10,000 guys. Okay. No. Okay. okay. But, but here's, a, here's a crazy part. Cock length has been getting smaller. Where have you read? Where'd you read this? This is all scientific, Leo. All right, scientific. Yeah. Uh, Austin, let's Google it then. <laughs> it, it sounds like the Is balls- cock length <laughs> getting smaller? Question Google mark. Google decreased... Testosterone over the decades. That's not, different. That's completely different. <laughs> that's different. I want the cock length <laughs> right, in right. the goddamn Google. Okay, cock <laughs> decreased cock length in average males across the West. No, no so Austin. Now, what is this? Austin? Now we're going for he's going for the distance thing. Austin, God damn we're it. not doing so this. Co- one are we doing cock length? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, cock length. Either one. You're dude, an asshole. If you're gonna make some claim like this, I want a, a bibliography. Mm-hmm. 
I do, too. I want to check sources. Well, and do you at least admit testosterone's been going down I believe for a that. few decades? I believe that, probably because of dietary reasons. And also, America's getting fatter and fatter, which I, I have no problem believing lowers your testosterone. Wait a second. Absolutely. Wait a second. Look at the first thing. That, oh, just when you write that, it says, as you get older, your penis and testicles may get slightly s- smaller. One reason is the buildup of fatty deposits in your arteries reduces blood flow to your penis. Blood this flow. Cause withering. Are you of worried the about this, cells? Leo? 36 year old corpse? No. Hey, <laughs> fuck you. I'm up there in age. Got a lot of grays. The evolution of penis size. Men's health. All right. Kind of a reputable source. I mean, the men's health even... sucks, dude. It did. Yeah. Is it right? I mean, it hasn't been good in a long time, right? Dude, it's gone completely woke. It's woke now? Yeah. Dude, I read it on the plane back from Alaska, and I just thought to myself, just like GQ put AOC on the cover of one of their recent Gentlemen's Quarterly has a radical leftist woman politician on their cover. GQ had an article just talking shit about Joe Rogan's misinformation. Men's Health, if I said GQ, sorry. Mm. Men's Health, and I was just like, who do you, who do you think is reading this? Yeah. Who do, like, the guys reading this want to learn how to swing kettlebells and, like, maximize their testosterone count. Right. You think these guys want to sit here and hate Joe Rogan with you? <sighs> like, how out of touch have we become? They're saying it's due to pollution. Of course. Of right. <laughs> Climate that's, change. But that's, see, King Croc, now mm-hmm. this is, I mean, whose side are you on here? Because the based part of you wants to believe cocks are shrinking, but the based part of you also hates the climate scientists. No, see, Danny, it's not a dichotomy. Uh-huh. The climate scientists are covering for the human scientists, the eugenists, which the eugenists are the ones shrieking, shrinking the human penises. And then the climate change cover-up wait, artists... Wait, the eugenists are carefully shrinking just the human penis? Their no. plan is, is to there... move the balls in the asshole closer together till eventually it forms some sort of pangea. That sounds good. Mm-hmm. A one-world genital, if you will. But here's the thing. The human <laughs> penises are shrinking due to pollution. The way you should read that yeah. is that human penises are shrinking. Here's a fake reason, mm-hmm. pollution, so you can do a fake solution, which is give the government more control. They set the problem <laughs> up, boom. They set up a fake reason, boom, and they offer the solution, boom, King Croc, climate change. I-, I would believe you, but you're acting as if this is a widespread problem. The website we are on right now, they couldn't secure a .com, a right. .org, even a .gov. We, <laughs> we, we, we are on business today .in. <laughs> They're censored. They don't, want, they don't want the people to know the truth. I get what you're saying, truth, but you know what? You don't, it's not your problem, is it? And it's oh. probably not going to be your kid's problem either. Look at this. Oh, Look God on the right. It is also, it's clearly an Indian website. I think that's what .in stands for. Mm. They know that the Indian guys, they're the horniest of all race. That's true. They and they're the most polluted. And they, they have are. small penises. Uh, maybe. <laughs> this is th- their target demo. I think uh, a guy I actually, <laughs> I gangbanged a chick once with a dude named Umber, and he actually, I guess, had a big cock. Actually, yeah, I think Indian guys probably would have big dicks. I, I think it's like anything. You never fucking know. Yeah. I think it, well, except for black people, it seems. Unfortunately, King Karak, you guys seem like you, you've you got it uh, figured out pretty much. Just every got- every male in my family, homie. Don't even worry about it, dude. Loaded. Um, less, let's, I'd say less scary, like less conspiracy theory, uh, you know, uh, bullshit King Croc and more just focusing on, on your, your bod nowadays and working out. Okay. For sure. You got that pull up bar outside of Brooks's bedroom. I saw it's a nice one. Dude, I can't believe the, can't Indi- I can't believe this Indian site. Like, mm-hmm. what is this? Like research tools that I'm going to, I'm to do an Indian. Oh. Leo's got a way better. The under, if you do the underbite like this, this, you, this you research how? shows that every time we dump <laughs> Nuclear phosphorus into the bay of of Bombay. Does, does Bombay, Bombay have a bay? That we are shrinking our son's penises <laughs> for generations to come. I just I don't understand what this article is, King Croc. This is yeah, not credible yeah. source, though. This is not a credible source. Okay, and, and it's all India. Yeah, it's all mm. India. Okay, so uh, what? <laughs> I don't what know, is that was kind it's of the soy products? It's the soy products causing more the phytoestrogens for sure. But where a lot are the, more what are they that. in? They're, I think there are thirty eight grams in the Celsius you were drinking. <laughs> phytoestrogens. Uh, I we, think those are from plastic. Are we talking about cock size? Are we talking about how to balance the fish tank acidity? Like if phytoestrogen sounds like exactly. Like, but like, that's what do you're you work eating. Sea World. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm eating phytoestrogens. Mm-hmm. Where what are they in? Everything. A shit ton of things. I mean, we can get into it, but I, I say let's dedicate another piece of content to that. But 
Really? Next you know, May channel sp- video, phytoestrogens. <laughs> Exposed. Um, I wanted you to know, Danny, that um, your team really fucks with you heavy. And by your team, I mean me, Dino, and Austin. You know why? Why? During your shoot yesterday, and Austin can vouch for me, a multimillionaire we met at the club when we were with some bitches partying mm-hmm. invited us to come to 50 Cent's crib. And we were like, nah, we got to film. And he's like, oh, blah, blah, blah. We're like, oh, we got to so film. So a bro. strange older man at a club invited you and two young twink looking boy, Peacock, big, Peacock twinks. Twinks. He's riches. Right, right. Yeah, two I know. 50 know. cents. We crib. saw his bank account. AKA right. his, yep. his, his fucking Airbnb that he paid for. Okay. And uh-huh. the guy is showing these guys his bank account. Mm-hmm. He showed them his bank account. A Did he not, Austin? Did he not? A screenshot. Because <laughs> yeah, you know, Danny's not going to believe me. How many millions? Not? Well, no, he just should, showed should he showed us how it? much he made yesterday. Yesterday, okay. uh-huh, uh-huh, which was eighteen k. Uh-huh. Yeah, nice. Which is, you know, that's you guys are such naive idiots. I don't even want to play around. I, I was just telling you what happened. I wasn't yeah, saying not, I bought it. So King Croc, just a fact. First of all, I appreciate the sentiment that you guys fuck with me or whatever you mm-hmm. said. But King Croc, <laughs> this guy, all this guy envisioned mm-hmm. was himself tied to a bed mm-hmm. with three big cocks, <laughs> two yeah. white, one black, <laughs> Yep, making it so he couldn't breathe <laughs> and he wouldn't shit right for a week. No. No. Yes, he dude. just thought we were so cool, you know buddy. What I mean? Yeah, I usually show people I think are cool my net worth. The moment that the you bug. said yes, that you were going to come over to Fifty Cent's crib, he was going to rush home before you guys and hit an enema to flush out <laughs> his system yep. completely, uh-huh. so that he could take that BBC, buddy. That's what he wanted. So no, you know what? Cool. I, I, Everything is sex driven, guys. If you guys get Honestly, invited anywhere, it's he wanted our someone bitches, wants to suck bro. your dick. Yeah, especially, exactly. Especially yeah. you guys. Like you guys are just like going into a club, just like this is them. You know how geese and chickens are just like buck, 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 and geese are like. Meh, meh. Right. These guys are just like based. <laughs> Asian girls, uh-huh. anime based, <laughs> Celsius, Takis based. Uh-huh. Like that's all you would hear from you guys at a bar. You guys got to go out with us. Anybody man. who approaches you is a gay guy who wants to have sex with you, <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, good for him. For I mean, you're good looking guys. You got big cocks. I'm giving you all this, dude. That's and- all they want from you, though. They say you guys are like the fucking chicks. The, the dudes just want to face fuck and pretend are interesting for a night. You know, it's crazy. Brooks did tell me that a bunch of gay dudes at this one party, like, thought I was into them and shit. But I didn't even know they were gay. You didn't know they Anyways. were gay until after you got packed out. No, no, no. King Croc, they see yeah. that gap in your teeth, and they envision themselves just shooting all their jizz oh. into your mouth oh. through it. Oh, like you a little drain. Like a, <laughs> like, like a drain Leo. system. Oh. It's just like when you're at Chuck E. Cheese and you got to like <laughs> shoot the air gun between Chucky's teeth to hit the bullseye so you win a teddy bear. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's that, but with semen. You know? <laughs> Daddy, do you think when this guy approached him and, and mentioned 50 Cent's house, like, you think they hit him with the, their business no, idea? No, 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 he didn't. <laughs> yeah, we never They hit him with their business idea. Of course, yeah. here's, of course. Here's what happened. We never hit him with the business idea because we're <laughs> cool guys. Like, we're, we've we been around. Like, I, we know so, how to network. But give here's the, the bullet thing. points of the business that idea. That night, <laughs> that night, we didn't talk no business. He just saw us leaving with a bunch of bitches. He was like, yo, come through. Or his assistant or whatever was hitting Austin up. He already gave me his number a He while wanted ago. us to bring our bitches over to, to his, his place. place. That's, That's what it was. But we were like, we're not, we're not fucking with that. <laughs> the next day, we meet up back here about to go shoot with Danny. That's when he calls me, yo, I'm at 50 Cent's house. I, I'll tell you the city after, but I can't tell you right now because we're on the camera. But I'm, I'm going to show you everything later. You, what, you can't say which city this guy lives in? No. Or which city he, he, you know, lives he, in? He lives in Los Angeles. I can't say that. We're going to have to bleep we, that out, Austin. We can look at, I can Google 50 Cent Los Angeles home, and it's going to come up. King Croc, anybody <laughs> who shows you how much money they made yesterday, they might be being truthful, doubtful. They're probably lying because people who actually make 18 grand a day don't do things like that. Okay, okay I'll tell they you. They have self-respect. Anybody who's doing that is a charlatan, and there are so many of them in L.A., dude. So many people trying to pretend 
things are going well for them to, to level up socially. Yep. Or he wanted your big black cock mm-hmm. uh, eclipsing his esophagus. <laughs> but he I'm wanted not, something. Sorry. I'm, I'm not going to lie, though. Mm-hmm. What? I was a little bit... Before he he didn't just bring that up. I was kind of I was bragging. You know what I mean? I was bragging about how much money you make and, and other <laughs> other people uh, I know. People? And I was telling him like, "Yo, he's they're shitting on you and shit." And then that's when he's like, "No, I make so much money." And then he showed us that. Listen, I could just see King Croc <laughs> laid it up into a girl's ear at the bar. Like, listen, you don't understand. Danny's fucking. A guy named Danny Mullen <laughs> makes hella money. <laughs> you know what that means? It means we should fuck. <laughs> me and you. Me, like, me and Danny Mullen? No, no, no. Me and me and you. But you don't have the money. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's all about networking and being based. Yeah, dude. King Croc, you know, you know who you are, man. I mean, you're a naive kid, and one of these parties, somebody's gonna drug you. <laughs> and no, 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 and no. someone's gonna, yeah, dude. And you're the kind of guy. They know that you're a good target, I'll tell you why. Because they know when you wake up the next day, you might want nobody to find out what happened. Yeah. So you're not going to tell anybody. I know, that's how they blackmail people. You're not going to tell the cops. You're not going to hurt them either. King Rock, you got to start- I won't. You got to start talking about your gay experiences. Because right now, you're so (laughs) shut off about homosexuality. That like Leo said, dude, Uh you're the perfect victim, dude. You are, dude. You are the perfect victim. No, nah, you wouldn't Guess want what? to be on the. You wouldn't want to be my enemy on. Okay, let, let's let's say, Danny. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna present you a scenario. You yeah. get it. You get invited. You get invited to an Nelk Boy party. Sure, sure. And sure. It, Osgod's it, there. Osgod, Osgod, Steve will do all, it. All of a sudden, John Shahidi, all, all the big players, all the guys, all the big players. All of a sudden, yeah. all the women just leave. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and, Cousin Jay's like, yeah. hey, we gotta get the bitches up out of here. Yeah. Cousin all Jay the escorts leave. all the King Croc. I, you don't look amused right now, but stay with us. All of a sudden, so it's me, you, and King Croc, right? Yeah, we're all, we're all there. Oh, we're all we all got happy dads in our hands. Yeah, we got happy dads in our hands, and all of a sudden, <laughs> are they turning on King Croc? Dude? It just this is what happens. Yeah, we're sipping on happy dads. We're like, hey, we're like so? and then uh, Kyle Forger's like, "Hey, everybody, I got to make a speech. Mm-hmm. First of all, thanks for being here. We just dropped our Medicare 2.0s. Make sure you check those out, Fuck everybody. Yeah. Here. Awesome. Also, we're gonna have uh, a hologram of Biggie Smalls on the podcast coming up on Monday. Oh shit, that's it's gonna awesome. be insane. Also, uh, King Croc." You got to put your head in the manacles over here and your hands. Everybody's going to run a fucking train on your ass. <laughs> you don't have to kill me first. <laughs> you don't have to kill my And then ass. their bodyguards, they have a bunch of big Russian bodyguards that always carry Glocks. Those guys are just going to pull their guns and just be like, no sudden moves, big boy. <laughs> That's it, dude. You're, no. And then who are you going to tell, dude? Who are you going to tell? You're going to really, uh, who's going to believe you? Really? The no, entire Delk Boy team ran a trade on you, dude, at a party. You're Danny t- Mullen was there. Leo was there. Yeah, come on. Cousin dude. Jay and Salim. <laughs> Cousin Jay, Cousin Jay put his cock in you. Salim just put his nine iron up your ass because he loves <laughs> golf. Dude, you could tell everybody that somebody that the Nulk Boys put a nine iron up your ass, and no one's gonna believe you, dude. Dude, Osgod would take his four thousand dollar camera, and he's got this new lens with built-in autofocus and color adjustment. He's gonna fuck you with it. <laughs> And if you're in the it's market not for even a, that funny. yes, it is, really dude. Really Osgod fine. fucking you with his camera is hilarious, no, dude. It's and then that's it's hilarious be, for their next drop. The ad is just going to be what he films in your rectum. <laughs> Jesus. It's to be granted, it's going to be a little blurry and a little dark. Oh my god! But that's going to sell like at least seventy thousand <laughs> t-shirts. What are you gonna do? That's you know what that you know what that's called. Welcome to Hollywood, King Croc. <laughs> All right, sometimes. Things like that happen. Uh, Jimmy Gambles is going to take three scoops of the full send pre workout, and he's going to jackhammer, <laughs> jackhammer your puckered asshole for like an hour. That's the finale, dude. Is Jimmy Gambles, and all of them are just going to, and fucking Steve will do it. It's going to be giving him Coke as he does it, just off his fit fucking pinky, dude. Just so he keeps fucking doing it. It's dude, so fucked up. Steve will do it's going to pour a <laughs> bottle of Dom Perignon into your butt and then drink it out. Oh, and- and he's going to upload it. Yo, he's going to upload gonna it on Leo. Rumble. <laughs> yeah, dude, okay? It's, it's going up it's, on it's Rumble. It's going on dude. Rumble because that's yeah. the only place he can upload now. 
And it's going to have a warning on it. Like, uh, Dino, you don't look amused. I'm sorry. It's going to have, like, warning. Steve is a trained professional. Do not attempt any of this you see at home. But what about he's the gay, gonna, he's about gonna, the gay assistant, Danny Gabe? Oh, Gabe. don't what get me did? started on Gabe. What would Gabe do, dude? <laughs> Gabe's going <laughs> to... You know, Gabe's probably going to wait for the party to kind of wind down yeah. and everything to get swept up and yeah. for you to take a shower. And then Gabe's going to... He's going to throat fuck you until you lose consciousness. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I, this is so fucked up, dude. We're just saying it's a scenario, man. It's just a scenario. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and then John Shahidi is going to call Stop. up Gary V, and Gary V is going to be on the line like, what are you talking about? A guy in Los Angeles? Yeah, I checked out his IG. I like his swag. Yeah, that dude, King Croc? He's sick, dude. Oh, shit, like, dude. fire IG. Like, I would love to see him just killing it on TikTok, though. Like, oh, that oh, black God. dude who's conservative, mm -hmm. that's a huge fucking white space in the market right yes, now. Yes. Like, if he can fill it's that, true, there's no telling how. I mean, he could be as big mm -hmm. as Ghostface Killer. <laughs> it's, not, it's not such an outdated reference. Ghostface Killer. He could be as big as, like, 6'9", <laughs> dude. At this point, I mean, it's completely worth everything that happened, including, including the champagne thing and the... The fucking Jimmy Gamble thing, which is really fucked up. Dude, I'm getting out of my jet for Manhattan right now. Uh, all I'm, this would be fun. I'm coming out there. If you listen to the Gary V, if he knows who you are, this is all worth it, I'm dude. Coming out there. Listen, John, what's up? What's up? What's up, dude? No, wait, where are you going? Yeah, King Croc. King Croc, we're talking about are you take, good, dude? We're talking about taking Brad to the next level. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna wear I'm gonna wear my hoodie and I'm gonna I'm gonna dress like a 26 year old even though I'm in my 40s oh, and you're gonna have to suck my dick, dude. If after everything that happened, they got on a call with Gary Vee and then <laughs> what? If after everything that happened, they got on a call with Gary Vee about that, dude, that would be the funniest thing in the world. Dude, we're gonna do a collab with you and Ford Ape, dude. Oh, I'm sorry if nobody thinks that's funny. That was the funniest thing. That's yeah, happened I'm sorry. In a while. Uh, Let's, they're gonna bring to back Hollywood, dude. They're Welcome gonna to bring Hollywood. back 905 shooter. <laughs> and he's gonna shoot 905 loads onto your titties. <laughs> Dude, would they bring 905 Shooter back for that? 100%. They're oh, bringing dude. him back. They're going to bring back Lucas, dude. Right? I guess he's already back. Like, fuck he's it. back, dude. Lucas was a plumber before he came back to Nelk. He's going to make sure the plumbing is working all right <laughs> downstairs. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. King Croc, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's enough, dude. I'm so sorry. Oh, you got it out of your system? We got it out of our system, right, dude. After uh, we... <laughs> The worst one was Jimmy Gamble's, dude. That yeah. was disgusting. Well, it's an ad for the full send supplements. You know, he's, he's doing the pre workout and he's seeing, seeing what he can do. If you have trouble with your motivation, for like Jimmy hour? Gamble's amped up on the pre workout, fucking King Croc, that'll let you know you can go hit buys and tries at the 24 hour fitness. Can we get Jimmy on this podcast? And 100%. We're going to play that clip for him. We got to get Gary V, dude. Like, uh, let me work on your brand, dude. Gary Jim V would. And Gary V's got a smoking hot new side piece, dude. Really? Yeah, pull up Gary V's new chick. King Croc, we'll get back to the straight stuff. I'm sorry, dude. Nice. Our, uh, you, uh, we do have a guest today. It's a um, a Romanian rapper, and he should be here soon. They're on their way. Sorry, they had to wait because they were getting some chick to bring here. Of course, so of course. Here a we go. A rapper can't be seen without a chick. Here's Gary V's new chick, dude. Oh, yeah. You like that, King Croc? Wow, she's look at that bod, <laughs> that bod, dude, the fake titties, oh, yeah. and look at that waist, dude. Her ass is probably popping. She looks like one of those Russian kind of a mail order like perfect brides. Looks a, like a doll. I'd say she's got to be Jewish for Der for Gary Vee to date her. How many NFTs did he trade for? Israeli. Dude, it took me like <laughs> two crypto punks and one of my bored apes, dude. <laughs> he called so it though. He, he's kind of he kind of <laughs> calls a lot of things though. He did say yeah, like ninety nine percent of the NFTs were gonna go to. Or they're gonna go to shit. You know, I back Gary Vee. I don't hate Gary Vee at all. But no, I like him. I just um I mean you can only be so rich and so plugged in in society before you need to upgrade your chick. And can we pull up Gary Vee's original wife right now? Because she looks nothing like this girl. I want it to be said. <clears throat> yeah, the only this girl is so hot. I mean, she's gotta be because Gary Vee is like fully into Jewish tradition. She's gotta be Jewish too, too wherever she's from. Mm -hmm. But she's hot. And then um Let's find his old chick. I don't know. There's like a couple of girls that chose him with. What is, is that his fucking wife? Wow. I don't know if that's his wife, dude. Like, it's really hard to find his wife. I was looking. I don't think that's Gary Vee, is it? 
The point is that Gary V was too rich and too plugged in and too good at his job to not upgrade to a 10. Damn. Okay? That's how it works, unfortunately. Dandy, do you think, I mean, his advice, though, it's it's it's, it's good shit, though, a lot of the, the stuff he said. Why do people think he's corny, or why do people talk shit? I think he he's a pretty positive guy. He's basically like super super. I mean, it's gotta, what Danny said before. He's forty and he dresses like he's twenty two. That kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, I think whatever, that's... dude. I mean, a lot of people do that now. It's gonna be me, dude. I'll tell but you right now. I, I feel, feel like, like if you wore a suit, though, maybe people would clown on him less, make himself look a little. Yeah, more like act like who you are. He runs in a suit. He runs in a suit pretty much. I mean, every people day. clown on him because he's completely omnipresent on social media. If you scroll down your social media feed, you're gonna see his stuff, mm-hmm. and he's just swearing into the camera about how you should TikTok more. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously that's going to rub people the wrong way. I yeah. mean, me included. Like, dude, you got to get out there. Danny, you have no excuses, bro. Cut up the clips of you out there with Leo D'Otavio. Mm-hmm. Put him on TikTok. Do a collab with the D'Amelio sister. It's, you're leaving the money on the table, bro. Like, mm-hmm. like, that stuff is annoying. I get it. But, I mean, he's right. Yeah, he's right. I mean, he's fucking right. No, but, like, <laughs> talking about how to save 30 bucks at a garage sale and he flipped it for 23 bucks. You're a millionaire, dude. Like, stop bullshitting us with your garage hack sales and all this bullshit. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, I mean, he, he wasn't a millionaire always. I mean, if you look into his history, family company, family money, family guarantee business. So what happened? They they moved over from, this is what was Gary Vee's background. He had to flee Russia, or not, I mean, somewhere in the USSR as, like, a refugee because the U.S. government swapped Jews for corn. Or wheat, I believe, was actually the deal we enacted. There were a bunch of Jews that were about to get mistreated in the USSR, so we enacted an economic deal to save those Jews. He came over, a fucking refugee due to this family, and his dad opened a liquor store. So I don't know how... And it did successful, and it's it was worth over $3 million <laughs> when he first took operator you don't know that he, that's what i researched it might have been I, worth three million after gary v worked on it but even if it was worth three million dollars when gary v first started working on it, it gary v is now worth like hundreds of millions of dollars exactly which is my point talk about how you got those don't talk about how to be you know oddly frugal and these weird kind of like saving hacks but that's not how you made your money and that's what a lot of these financial so-called gurus is like yo tell us the real but a lot of times they don't want to tell us the real why because it's a player versus player game. See, I don't like how dog you, eat dog. I, see, King Croc, negative. That's the thing. So like, it, it comes back to health. Book, like, bro. it's like you're the guy who you see a video of Jocko Willink or David Goggins telling you not to be fat, and you're like, dog. I know you guys used to be out of overweight, but your dad had a six pack. So, like, you've got the advantage. Mm -hmm. Like, you're looking for every reason not to trust people who are giving fundamentally sound advice. Are you, are you? I just rather go to the source. I always consider the source. Socrates taught me that. Always consider the source? Mm Mm-hmm. All right. So, what is, why does it matter if it's solid advice, though? You know? How do I know it's solid advice? To to lose weight, less calories and exercise, and to to hustle on social media to make a living. Yeah, no, no, that's obviously. I guarantee you've talked shit about David Goggins before. I know it was a good example of an avenue. You've talked shit about him, right? No, I don't 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 like that guy. Austin talks shit about him, but I don't. Why don't you like him, Austin? I just feel like David Goggins always makes it seem like, like, Oh, I had my my legs were broken and I, everything I did was ten times harder. I'm like, dude, those other guys with you were also probably working just as crazy, million times hard. Like he tries to make it seem like out of everyone, he was just like the most like badass. I'm like, dude, all of y'all were badass. Like you don't, maybe yeah, maybe you had shin splints, but maybe the other guy's toe was broken. Like you don't know. Like maybe he just didn't say nothing. David Goggins is, I mean, he admits his failures. He admits he wasn't on Delta Force, he like didn't become a ranger or whatever happened. I've only read his book, Can't Hurt Me Once, but dude, I, I think he's tougher than almost every human being on the planet. There are dudes in the military who are tougher than them, but I don't think he really refutes that. And people who know him say he's an animal. Mm. They say when he has speaking engagements, sometimes he'll run from city to city. Like he'll run Damn. like a hundred miles to a gig that he has. And I'm sure he probably does. It's just there were certain comments I've seen of his that make it seem like like he was com- making himself out like he was working so much harder than all these other guys that were like Navy SEALs or whatever he with probably them. Is. And I'm like, bro, they were probably he dying prob- He too. probably is. I mean, a lot of those guys who were Navy SEALs are probably fat asses who work at a tire shop now, and he's a global figure. 
Obviously, he was working hard. Yeah, you got to give him his flowers, is what you're saying. I mean, give him his flowers. I want to see, Aust- dude, Austin and Dino in the comment section of a David Goggins video would be amazing. I know people kind of get the same vibe I do, though. I, it's just from the TikToks, though. It's all I ever see are just, like, clips of him, and he just seems really arrogant. That's what we're talking about Gary V too. Anybody who's giving advice in a 60-second clip immediately seems arrogant when there's yeah. no context. Like, it. I haven't read his book or nothing. I don't really know anything about him. Yeah, he's, I mean... Dude, he's not one of the most elite people in the military. It took him, like, multiple times to beat the Buds training Hell Week thing. That's, he was fat before. He like, was super fat. Yeah. Oh, took, that's a big reason I respect him, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I mean, he was a fat He was, like 300, he was, fat as fuck. He was 300 pounds at some mm-hmm. point. Yeah, yeah, but it took him multiple tries to get through Hell Week and Buds to become a Navy SEAL, and then he didn't even make it into Delta Force. And, I mean, a, presumably a bunch of people are in Delta Force, and a, presumably they're better at being a soldier <laughs> than David Goggins. Mm-hmm. But, dude, like... That's what life is. You try stuff and you make it as far as you can go in one thing and then you pivot and adjust and add a skill. Mm-hmm. He added public speaking and writing and being a public figure for being tough mentally. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's his thing now. He was like yeah. a warrior and a guy who teaches you how to be tough mentally. And he's probably not the best at either of those things, but when you combine them, he's worth all that he's gained. I think this analogy would demonstrate my point excellently. Take... You, Danny Mullen, yeah, versus Jimmy Fallon. What about Jimmy I'm a Gambles? kid. <clears throat> Jimmy who? Jimmy Gambles, the guy you had sex I with. Mean, I don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> Hours straight. Danny versus Jimmy Fallon, right? Mm-hmm. You have a kid who says, I want to become a successful comedy YouTube channel. I have a kid. No, there's just a random kid. There's and a kid, he's sorry. he has two options. He either asks you someone who started from nothing and got to that point, or he asked Jimmy Fallon, who was never originally a YouTuber. Some people would say, well, Jimmy Fallon's so popular, and he's so, he obviously knows a lot about the craft. He's worldwide, famous, et cetera. But you, Danny, you're not that. But yet you've actually, from the ground up, built a successful comedy YouTube channel, which Jimmy Fallon hasn't. Which one would be smarter for that kid to ask, Danny or Jimmy? That is my point. I want to ask somebody who exactly did that. Yeah. Talk about what you exactly did. Yeah. Nigga. I, I, thank you. <laughs> I like it when you punctuate it. With I that. think your math alarm is going off, Croc. Yeah, I got it. I got it. You got to do a math problem. Can you tell us the king pro- Tell us what the problem is? 91 plus 62. Uh, 153. There we go. Bam. Hit All right, it. IQ. 23 plus 30. Uh, 53. 52. Uh, oh, wrong. Shit. Wait, was I right? Yeah, Danny. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you were right. Yeah. Yeah. High What's... IQ. Listen, King Croc, yeah. I got the last problem right. Listen to me. I think Jimmy Kimmel, or Jimmy Fallon, rather, he did work his way up to where he got in the way that he could do in his time. It was mm-hmm. before YouTube. He w- went through improv school. He did improv enough, and I think he did stand-up and stand released up. like some comedy albums, got cast to SNL, then ended up where he was. Jimmy Fallon might not be able to give you advice tailored to YouTube, but he could give you advice on how to be resilient in the comedy world. But my problem is I don't think you're even looking for the person who has the quote unquote best answer about fitness. I think you're just calling everybody out as being a fraud and uh, going on Reddit for these these insane dietary lists and trying to use that as a weight loss regimen. I just think you should be less cynical about shit and just realize that a lot of people have a lot of good advice i get that i get that i'll consider that for sure Thanks, there's man. no substitute for hard work king croc absolutely i'm telling you from somebody who's really lazy me there's no substitute i can't i'm losing my voice doing gary v i already <laughs> lost <laughs> it this weekend yeah. i was it was gonna go in a gay direction oh. well i'm gonna take a piss real yeah, quick where's our see. romanian yeah, rapper he's- so dre came in here and i'm being stared down by his woman right now mm-hmm. she is beautiful marcella can you, can you film this right now dino she is gorgeous I mean, she is a perfect 10. She's staring me down. Uh It's making me a little uncomfortable. I'm withering under her gaze. I didn't know how legit this guy was. I just heard he's a rapper from Bulgaria or somewhere. Now Romania. And I was like, whatever. I'm going to get him a big razor, some nair. We'll take care of his hair problem. (laughs) I'll fucking bring him some garlic so he can keep Dracula away. We'll call it a podcast, all right? Mm -hmm. But when he rolls in with a chick who looks like that, you got to take him seriously. I mean, we the measure of the true measure of a man, Danny, is of course the tail that he can get. You know okay. what I mean? In that case, these three are two inches tall. Well, right now, yes, but they will. They can hope to one day. Thank you, I'm Marcella. By the way, Marcella. Marcella. Marcella? Marcella. 
She's from Brazil. She's nice. Oh, I, uh, yeah, uh, Poha. Uh, Dre, sit down me, there. Me, I'm OG Rafa. I wish I could actually speak Portuguese. Right, that'd be nice. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu purple belt, baby. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Fabio Potato Prado is my instructor. Poha, make a lot of train, make a lot of fucking, bro. Oh, yeah. A lot of fucking. Okay, so, uh, Dre. Yeah. Uh, all I'm drink. saying is some sparks are flying right now. You better keep your woman away from me because <laughs> otherwise. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring, baby. Wow, I like the attitude of the Romanians. Uh, the Romanians, are, they're you know, they're peaceful people. They come in peace. So Dre, talk right into the mic there. That one, yeah. Yeah, you can move it there. Dre, yeah, cool. what what was your name again? What's her? Marcella. Uh, Marcella. Mm-hmm. Marcella staring at me, Leo. I know she's looking into your soul, buddy. <laughs> she likes the shoes. I think. She likes the shoes, the Vans. Yeah, you couldn't afford <laughs> these, buddy. <yeah. laughs> Fifty percent off at the outlet in Folsom, got, California. That's a, that's a beautiful outfit too. And Versace, it's very, or I don't, know, I think that's Versace. Uh, it's very nice. Yeah. Now she's staring at you. I'm glad I couldn't handle yeah, that. Pressure. You couldn't handle. I couldn't Are handle you it. intimidated I, by her beauty? King Croc, give her the mic. King Croc is King Croc's got. A I, had to bring, I had to bring a beautiful <laughs> girl, man. Too many dudes in the room. Too yeah, many dudes in the room, Dre. I appreciate know. that. Thank you. Dino's yeah. been saying that for years. <laughs> um, so Dre, yeah, this is your girlfriend. We're just uh, friends. Uh huh. Friends and we. She does music also. We, we both do music. So mm-hmm. nice. This yeah. is a, this is a power move. That's what we call it in America, Dre. Mm-hmm. A power move. Power moves, when yeah. you walk in with a woman <laughs> who looks like that. <laughs> of course, yeah. It's early power move. It's still early in the day. You know, yeah, at yeah. night I make bigger moves. Bigger moves. So you're gonna ditch Marcella no. and you're gonna link up with another broad at 10 p.m. Mm, no, no, no. <laughs> 10 p.m. No. 11 I'll be, p.m. I'll be tired after this interview. Man. I'll be tired. You're gonna be tired after this interview. Yeah, yeah. yeah. King Rock, what do you think about what's going on right here? I think these guys are cool. I like both of these guys. <laughs> One of them's a chick. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Dre, you're I from. I, I'm cool with everybody. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. from Romania. Romania, correct? yeah. Nice. Now, now, as a rapper that's Romanian, you know, uh, uh, I don't know. King Croc kind of he's he's kind of one of those guys. He's a purist, and he always says like, if you if you're a true rapper, you gotta, uh-huh. be, you gotta be black, right? This is what he always says. King Croc, that is really. The thing that you live for. Yes. I mean, if you, if you could have your life's motto up mm-hmm. on a billboard, it would say, if you rap, you got to be black. Mm-hmm. I just feel like the people who started it, you feel me? Like, you at least got to respect it. For you, sure. You know what I'm saying? For sure, like, for sure. I haven't heard you personally, but yeah, yeah, yeah. you seem like a cool guy. So. It, Dre, do you respect black people? Of course, man. <laughs> Do you of respect course. that you the are culture. the yeah. black people are the culture? So right. Dre. me playing basketball music, of course, this is what but you play my, basketball too. Oh, look at my leg. All He's my role models are dude. black. Listen, man. that is Jordan. textbook you know, cultural appropriation. You know we can have to talk about that. Wow, that's cool. You got yeah. that, that's you got I see DMX, Kobe, Tupac, Kobe. DM, oh, that's sick. Like, He's got DMX and Tupac. A white Kobe. guy has a million on my leg yet. So only wow. only, <laughs> the, the only one that's close to white is Jesus. That made it on my. He is Middle East. He could be Middle East. Oh, you're gonna put my face on your right knee. I see a good. Spot over there. I think he's behind the name, maybe. Uh, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Dre, listen to me. You are using the black man's art in order to buy that ice around your neck mm. and to get a woman such as Marcella. And what are you trying to put? You trying to put me in some Elvis like type of uh, yeah, type some of, Elvis. <laughs> you put me on You're some Elvis in the fifties type of vibe. Right yes, now. bro. Steal it. You hey, are steal Elvis, but instead of being a good old Southern boy, you can turn into a bat. Okay. Bad man. That's what right. Romanians can do that, right? I guess they can. Yeah, I just, I just think Only they all. Well, Transylvania is what yeah, you say. Yeah, it's, it's close, close by. Yeah, it's yeah. close by. Listen, it's okay. Yeah, Dre. I don't have anything else to say to Dre. <laughs> I'm, I'm done calling him out for cultural well, appropriation. Dre, maybe you could help us. Uh, we yeah. have a, 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 f- a very big fan of hip hop, Austin. Mm-hmm. He considers him. He thinks he's one of the best freestyle rappers in the game. Okay, this who's kid that? right here, the white kid behind okay. right here, Austin. I see you. Yeah. All right. That's dope. Um, you know, at some point, if he could do a little freestyle for you, uh, maybe you could watch him and give him a few pointers. Because you're real. I mean, your manager is a Bad Bunny's manager. Is that correct? No, uh, Bad Bunny's manager mm. is uh, one of the one of my part, like my business partners from uh, nice. from New York. Okay, we're basically we're... part of like a label. It's called Renegade Territory. Nice. And my nice. business partners uh, brought Bad Bunny to perform at the Super Bowl oh, in, sure. uh, three years ago. Oh wow! So we're very Sweet. connected to Bad Bunny's team. You know, Noah. Mm-hmm. He's very close to my uh, associates, Serge Morales and Jeva from New York. It's amazing. Yeah. Why is he called Bad Buddy? Does he steal carrots? <laughs> Danny, they try to have creative names, and, and Bad Bunny's what he <laughs> landed on, okay? Does He's he, one uh, of the biggest, most listened to people in the world. You should he, respect him. <laughs> on Easter Sunday, does he follow the Easter Bunny around and, and break the eggs? <laughs> I would say that that's possible. I mean, if he did that, it'd be very funny. I hope that he does do that. I, I hope that Easter is a big day for Bad Bunny, because... 
His name, <laughs> it's name, his namesake. It caused a lot of trouble. So Austin, so, so Dre, yeah, Austin's gonna freestyle at I you right now. Sure. Uh, mm-hmm. Austin, can you make it involve the lovely Marcella? Sure. Like, come at press Dre for bringing a hot chicken here. Because, Dre, this is a wolf's den. Uh-huh. All right, this is a wolf's den in here. And when you bring a baddie, you might be leaving without her. I mean, let's see if it gets to that. Yeah. <laughs> I, li- I like challenges. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> You're about to get one on the beats right now. Let's go. No come on, Austin. Leo, do you want to put a beat into the mic again? Are you, is that the best way to do it? Yeah, I guess all so. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> we in the studio <laughs> with Dre. Yay. He brought his Brazilian <laughs> bay. <laughs> uh, we got <laughs> the guns, but don't play. <laughs> I'll pull out the two and I'll end you today. <laughs> uh, me, Danny, and Croc. We got Leo <laughs> on the flow. Yeah, hoes on a cock. Uh, hey. Pull it up, but we ain't going back because we grabbing all these baddies and we breaking their backs. Uh, now I spitting off the mic to my boy King Croc tonight. Mm. 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 Okay. Slimy, grimy, mm. crocodile guy. I'm mm. so cool when I'm on the bull. I'm bullin', mm. chillin', mm. and I'm cool. Uh, mm. yeah. <laughs> Right. Yeah. I see, I see the tandem Eminem to Biggie. Okay, yeah, dude, that was sick, dude. Yeah, like Eminem to Biggie, Biggie right? really quick. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you just, him Biggie, dude. I think, <laughs> Kick Rock, you just set black hip hop back like, like 15 that. years. <laughs> that was awful, dude. That was so bad, King Rock. It came from the heart, though. It did, yeah, and that's dude. all that matters. Came from the heart. Came from the yeah. belly. Yeah. You came from the <laughs> as, as a as a would you say it's common to be a Romanian rapper or Man, is that to a very... be honest with you, that I'm the first guy really from mm-hmm. from Europe, not only Romania. That's wow. kind of like trying to be deemed in culture. Mm-hmm. Like there's a lot of people that did a collaborations with some American artists, but their music was only played in their region where they're from. Mm-hmm. So me, I'm trying to like be the first guy that I actually accepted into culture and people actually played my music here in the States, not right. in a small city in Romania well, somewhere, you know? Let's so, say you had a, a, a how many tickets do you think you could sell in Romania for a concert? I think I can sell maybe like 2,000 tickets. Nice, bro. That's phenomenal. Yeah. Can we, can we pull up his Instagram? I want to, let's see so we can follow Dre here. Right. And Dre, I want to see if you have more bitches on your Instagram. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't really post girls like that on my Instagram. I, mm-hmm. You know, I like I like to to keep the fantasy going for these girls. You know, I like, like it. I like it for the Smart. girls. Yeah, like if I show something, then they're gonna feel like heartfelt and they're not gonna like my post. Well, what's Marcella gonna feel that you brought her on this podcast here? I mean, this is a huge podcast. I know Marcella. She's like a, she's D-R- my colleague. You D-R- know, and she has amazing oh. music. So that was you guys kinda, don't you guys aren't romantically linked. Uh, no, not, not yet. We just, you know, like, we, we, we're good friends. Uh, know, why wasn't Dre able to answer the question? Because okay. you noticed he, <laughs> Marcella, he me, was I'm a, like, me, I'm, a, me I'm a romantic person, so yeah. I can't really, you know. Okay. Can you do an impression of Dre, Leo? I'm a romantic person, you know. Romantic. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm from Romania. I have a 10 inch cock, and, uh, you know. I'm Almost 11 on a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Marcella, I'm just wondering because. Uh, I, I I don't know. It just he seems there like he's talking about being modest and not bringing girls around and giving him any false idea. But then you're here on this massive platform, and I don't know if this was like akin to a proposal. Are you trying to tell Marcella <laughs> that you want to be serious with her moving forward? Where's the ring? Yeah, I have no. Yeah, I have no, to stop by the jewelry store for yeah, that. You must, or you can just pull something off your neck. Yeah. yeah. So, Dr- um, so Dre, you have a million followers. Are those mm-hmm. real? Most of them, yeah. Mm-hmm. Most of them. Let's go yeah. down. Let's let's check out some of the photos here. Damn, dude. Oh, shit. That's a, sick, that's a nice camera. Whoever took that. All right. Yeah, that was from uh, from uh, Miami. Nice. I did a music video with uh, Rick Ross. Ooh, nice. We're about to, to drop his song, yeah. I love Rick Ross, dude. Danny, do you know who Rick Ross is? Yeah, you, you've probably, yeah, yeah. you even probably know who Rick Ross is. Yeah, he's... Uh, he's it's like him with swag. It's, it's, it's <laughs> with a beard too. He's got a little beard. He is kind of a dorky black guy. It's true. It's true. <laughs> he's, he's, he's working a cool on guy, it. Cool guy. He's working on well, it. Let's keep. Let's go, let's just go back to the uh, the whole photo layout, Austin. Let's keep scrolling down. So you're hanging out with a lot of guys with bling, Dre. Right? You're doing mm-hmm. squats. Mm-hmm. Let's keep little, going down. Squats, you know. You're it's at important. Venice Beach throwing a basketball. Yeah. How many attempts did it take to get that photo? First, first take. First you, take, baby. You are a liar, but you know how to do it well and confident. Uh-huh. First take, you know. Let's keep scrolling. Now you got a good physique, Trey. Thank you, bro. Thank you. How is your penis? Do you really have a ten-inch dick? 
Yeah, <laughs> especially in Tulum, I get up to eleven in Tulum because it's really hot and humid. So Dude, the way he said Tulum, yes, huh? the way he said yes, I believe he did. He he probably has a big. He probably has a big cock. Dude. Do you t- are you going to take Marcella to Tulum before you actually <laughs> consummate the relationship? I mean, get that extra inch. I mean, I don't know if if it gets that romantic. Maybe for the extra inch, we'll take a trip. There I we just, go. Now, just, some rappers. Delving into the OnlyFans. Is that something you plan to do? Man, I already got some scenes. Uh, got some scenes? Got some scenes ready to go. But You filmed this guy. We have Bryce here. <laughs> photographer Bryce. Photographer of the channel. Bryce. <laughs> did you, Bryce, can, 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 can you pass me your mic real quick? Bryce, yes or no? Did you film or photograph these two having sex? These two, no. Okay, but it was Who'd different... you have sex with, Ray? Me? Yeah. yeah. Some, you know, some, some porn stars, you know. All right. He had sex with multiple porn stars? Yeah. Does he, have a, <laughs> does he actually have a big cock, Bryce? It's really big. Jesus, dude. <laughs> Danny, how does that make you feel? I'm so uh, tired of big cock, dudes. It's They're popping up everywhere nowadays. They are. It's, it's, they're it's, surrounding it's us. It's an right? epidemic, it's dude. I'm going to start sending his videos that I got on my phone to the chicks when they ask me how big mine is. That's how big Air- this is. Oh, oh, he, wow. he uses my videos for, for first impressions. <laughs> <Yeah>. First impressions. <laughs> Uh, he did. He sent me a text. If I have him allowed to say, he goes, "Hey, man, this guy's really railing the shit out of a girl right now." That's what Bryce told me. He goes, "He's really railing this girl." You railed a girl, Dre? He railed her. <laughs> Marcel, how do you feel about that? That he's out railing chicks. Me, I don't know. I don't know how to say. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Is it good or bad? Is it? What do you think? Is it? Is it against your religion per se? I know a lot of. Uh, I think I don't. I don't. I don't judge people. You know, I okay. feel like they should do whatever they feel comfortable doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying with their bodies, with themselves. You know, I mm-hmm. feel like we are nobody to. I'm not nobody to say anything like mm-hmm. what you should do, what you want to do. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I feel like it's all. All up to you. It's you all know? up to you. Yeah. Yeah. Like no, but, uh, but those kinda. scenes I might never release. It's just for my personal collection. Okay. You just yeah, wanted Bryce to watch just, you fuck. Just off the <laughs> check <laughs> our move. Just you know, just check it off the list. It's know, a power move. Have, you know, maybe one day in the future they would leak for a good amount of money. You ah. never know. Ah. You know, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. In case somebody accuses you of having a small cock or yeah, something. Exactly. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have like a teaser ready with yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mar- Marcella, uh, who are uh, who are you dating these days? Uh, myself. Myself. <laughs> who do you? I'm dating the, the the studio. I'm actually, you know, I feel like right now music is like the studio is my boyfriend. Do you want to spit a flow if we give you a beat? Well, are you a rapper? Are you a rapper or more like a? Are you a singer like Rihanna or? I like... do both okay. actually. Yeah, I do both. I'm actually I'm gonna release my first uh, my first single in three weeks. Is hip hop actually? Okay. Yeah. It's fantastic. Uh, now you guys, the collab is it? Uh, is it kind of like a romantic song, or do you guys have a song? We haven't, we haven't done a song together. Okay, it's just uh, we actually met last week okay. for her to show me like her new song, and then when I met with you at the comedy club last uh-huh. night, it's like yo, you have a special guest you can bring, and I thought yeah. of her because it was just like very recent, and hell yeah, you know she's talented, and I feel like she has Thank a lot, you. a lot to for her future with the right team and the right people she can achieve a mm-hmm. lot so I was like this would be a good platform for her to be part of you know hell yeah hell yeah, yeah. no we have a lot of hip hop fans in the comments obviously they always uh, Danny's more of a you know he's a old school kind of what what would you say like 70s I like Beatles. Skiffle Skiffle <laughs> yeah do you know what Skiffle is no it's where there's like one guy playing a laundry washboard and then another guy has a makeshift bass made out of a like a, a bucket and a broom. Oh, nice. It's cool. It's like boom, doo, 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 Like people doo, that don't have money for instruments just making right. music. Well, right, you right, could right. say that or you could say it's an artistic choice, artistic. which I know you're not used to making. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I never, I never made a beat with the, with the broom like that. You no, know, I can show you how, dude. Yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to cost something. Uh, I, don't need, I don't know if it's going to be financial or you're going to have to pay me out in uh, Maybe bitches. Maybe it's going to like traumatize me you know, overall. Yeah, yeah. If I watch the tape of you having sex, that's what's going to traumatize. No, we're not, I'm telling we're not, you. Dre, what makes you think you can come to our country with your big penis? <laughs> okay. That's what I think. I mean, forget Trump's wall to Mexico. I want to erect a wall where it's got a hole in it. And yeah. if your cock doesn't fit, you go back to where you came from. You go back. Huh? That's what I want. That's wow. how immigration is going to be based on whether or not you get a that's small a good, penis. You, you get a small those. cock, you can come. You can come in. Yeah. That's why that's... you have an influx of Asians coming in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get That's I get, true, I get, dude. I get. You know, that's actually not a bad way to run foreign policy. It's if that's fantastic. What we get. If yeah. we just get a ton of Asians, I mean, we're going to have a lot of cool inventions. Yep. 
And, and, and you know, you you never have to worry about your wife cheating on you, and it, you know, you got well, unless it's Jim H. Chang, who we'll talk about <laughs> later. But but uh, like, there could be a guy with just like a, there could be an Asian with a massive cock next door, and that'd be scary. Uh, there are, and yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to be any more specific right now about mm-hmm. an Asian with a huge cock that we might know. We might know. Yeah. Yeah. Asians, Asians, some of them have big penises. It seems like everybody's got a big penis, Dre. I mean, <laughs> nowadays, big it cock, does. big cock, big cock, yeah. big cock. I'm the guy with the small cock. Yeah, big cock. We well, have a big personality. You know, like yeah, yeah. you can make a, a woman does. come with your jokes. You know, that's good. He too. does actually. That's Marcella, so I agree with that. Can I tell you a knock knock joke and see if, if yeah, you have to tell course. us if it turns you on at all, Marcella? Okay, you have to tell it. us that it turns you on. <laughs> you better make it good, buddy. <laughs> I have to tell a knock. Yeah, joke. yeah, you do. You set yourself up for it. You asked her. You better be good, buddy, and it better make her wet. Don't get shy now. Um, <laughs> hey, Marcella. Mm. Knock knock. Who is that? Mm-hmm. Banana. Banana who? Banana who? <laughs> Banana who put on a hat and glasses to pretend he was a person. <laughs> what oh is that? My <laughs> god, dude. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, even Never the mind what barrier it doesn't. Yeah, Do you feel any is... are you moist right I now? I feel like I, I feel like your own personality when mm. you're like right now, like why when you're not trying to make jokes, you're more funny. <laughs> <laughs> naturally, oh you're naturally funny. You want me to tell the banana joke again? Uh, yeah, maybe I'm gonna, gonna understand better. You're gonna get the remix. Oh, the remix. God, dude. oh the remix. God, you're gonna get the remix. The remix, the remix is waiting. <laughs> knock knock. <laughs> Just kidding. We're not gonna do this again. Oh my god. We're not gonna do this again. <laughs> so Dre, uh, yeah. my friends here, they're hip hop fans, mm-hmm. and they have this theory that maybe because you're in more of the inner circle of the hip-hop world, yeah. you might know if it's true or not. But they have this question. You wanted to ask Austin earlier about something in regarding homosexuality within the 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 community of the rappers and stuff. So tell, tell us this theory. Tell him the theory that you told me. Okay, so there's a viral clip going out right now. Krog, what's the guy's name? Uh, he was on Matt Hoffa's show. I forget the guy who said it, but... Okay, <laughs> and he was basically claiming that the label companies are drugging rappers, raping them while they're unconscious, and then using the video to blackmail them into signing the labels. Have you heard of anything like that? Yeah, they tried it on Man. Dre, and he was like, wait, bro, I'm, I'm you don't have you. to drug me. I'm going to be honest <laughs> with you, I'm, I'm from Eastern Europe, uh-huh. and this is a very sensitive subject for me, so mm-hmm. I'd rather not even okay. open, like, it's a, it can get really crazy, and I'm not even established wow. like that in the industry to Damn. really, to Whoa. really, like, talk about these things, you know? Damn. I'll take them down. Whoa. I'll take down the yeah, fat cats. So. You just gotta start <laughs> dropping an album, Danny. They can't silence me, Austin. I mean, if, if RCA and Def Jam are trying to take guys up the poop chute, mm-hmm. which is what they're doing, right, King Croc? I'll speak truth to power. <laughs> Dre, I won't let them rape you, dude. It's not about that. It's just you know the industry, music industry, entertainment industry. There's a lot of a lot of gays, and that's yeah. that's that's it. That's that's all it is to it. And it hasn't been in the last ten years. It's been since the beginning of yeah. of times. Brian so, Epstein, dude. What about Brian yeah. Epstein? You know him? He was the Beatles' gay manager. He was great at his job. He tried to fuck John Lennon once, of course. Once? Yeah, he did. Mm. Yeah, what did he do? Probably a couple times. I have a question. For me or for Dre? For Dre. Yeah. Okay, you said you're from Romania, yeah. Eastern Europe, right? Mm-hmm. What do you think about Andrew Tate? I like that guy. Oh, you like him? Yeah. I, I haven't got into his content much. Lately, mm-hmm. I've been uh, kind of like watched a few clips. Mm-hmm. I think he's very straightforward and very real. Like he tells mm-hmm. things of how they are. Mm-hmm. And I think it's a rarity in these days to have somebody that really speaks their mind and really yeah. talks about real life stuff that's actually in front of us, but the media and everything makes us kind of like not see it. So mm-hmm. yeah, I think he's I think he's a real guy. Mm-hmm. And the fact that they blocked him on all the platforms, that tells you a lot, you know. So it's bullshit. Yeah. You ever bullshit. party with him? I never because I've been in the states for a long time. Last time I was in Romania was like nine years ago. Oh, and word. I know I'm sh- he's from the states, but he lives in Romania. But he's only been living there in the probably five six years, I think. Mm-hmm. So I never got a chance to meet him. But when I go back to Romania. Uh, this spring, I'm gonna reach out to him and hang out with him. For Hell sure, yeah. yeah. Can't wait to see that collab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know, <laughs> fuck him for only no, fans. I got no, 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 no,
Come on, dude. <laughs> get, get that thought, out, day, get that thought out of your head. Every, you're not going to like. All the Europeans and all of the black men are alike. You can't, and the Latinos. You can't make the gay jokes anymore, Danny. It's enough. You can't not st- yeah, you this is stop with the gay jokes. Man. Yeah, it's Honestly, stop with the gay jokes. King Croc, you it's can't tell far. me it's an intervention after what you did with all the Nelk squad. Yeah, the Jimmy Gambles thing, dude. That was wild. He got packed dude. out by the full set <laughs> squad, dude. Went nuts <laughs> on this guy, dude. It was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> Marcella, how, how do you feel? I don't know. <laughs> Marcella, tell me what you're thinking right now. You're very mm-hmm. mysterious. I know Brazilian women are very forward. What's your opinion of everybody in this room? Um, you guys are funny as hell. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I feel yeah, like everybody here has, has a very good personality, very mm-hmm. talented, you know, Thank and I'm you. through. And what I about assume, him? I'm pointing at Dino. Hi. What's up? You think he's talented? What up? How are you? Good. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> he's never had sex with a woman, and he's. Oh yeah. really? It's Poor his birthday guy. today. Yeah, it's his birthday. Today. It is his birthday. Yeah, yeah. happy birthday. Yeah. birthday. How old are you? I'm twenty. Twenty. He's twenty. Oh, We're making a age. movie called Twenty Years of Virgin, starring Dino. <laughs> yeah. Wait, well, Marcel, how old are you? Uh, I just turned twenty-three. Oh my god! What? Um, what, Dino? <laughs> I, I want. I kind of want to mic Dino up <laughs> and watch him, like, because I know Interact. Dino. But I like older guys. Oh uh, okay. I mean, not too too old. I like like. I mean, like. 30 something, you uh, know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Well, Dino. I don't here. like guys of my age. Dre, how old are you? 32. Nice. Uh, 33. Works out. I'm 32 right now. About to be 33. 36. You and I are the same age. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dino, I really want to mic him up and yeah. watch him just struggle to seduce Marcella because all his shit, before you guys got here, he was like, I'm based. I don't need a woman. If mm-hmm. I don't respect her, I'm not even going to talk to her. I don't care if I get any pussy because mm-hmm. I'm too based. That's what I he's know, saying? If yeah. we mic'd him up right now. That's what he now, says all the time. It's he would, annoying. He would be like a kid asking a they, girl to a dance. Take away the internet the access. Yeah, yeah we, need the, <laughs> he doesn't, take, we need to take away his take, internet. Take internet yeah. access from him for two days. He'll be like, I need the real woman yeah, in my right. life. Take, I need to touch <laughs> yeah, something. You're right. It's a porn addiction. I can't sleep at night. Right. Yep. Yep. No, horns you... for cucks. All right, well, what yeah, I would love to see that too. What, can you go and take King Croc's place on the couch? And I'd say you have three sentences to woo the beautiful Marcella, and you're going to try your best. I think you should try to get to asking her out on the third sentence or fourth sentence. I think we just have him have a conversation, Leah. Right. That's he, too many if, rules for me to remember. If he has oh, three shit. sentences, it's all going to be jokes. What's just have a conversation. Up? What's up? I got a big dick. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. have a conversation with Marcella. All right. First. I want to say, not a virgin. They're liars. So I keep it based, you know, keep it real. I'm Dino. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I like your nails. Thank Those you. are pretty cool. Yeah. They're very dangerous, too. They're dangerous? Yeah. Have you ever killed anyone? Kind of. Look, he's trying to get laid right now. Yes, he's being serious. <laughs> is kind of. He's doing the Tinder approach. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> keep the rapport going, Dino. I like your teeth. They're really white. Thank you. Yeah, they all. <laughs> Good it's all about the teeth, boys. <laughs> if a girl has bad teeth, no, nah, next. Okay. Left yeah. swipe. Yeah, keep going, Dina. Oh, so I'm approved. Yeah, you'd be a right swipe for sure. Uh, okay. Wow. Keep going, Dina. I believe you're not a virgin, though. Yeah. I believe you. I'm, Hell yeah. Don't listen to them. I believe you. <laughs> Chickens don't oh. count. <laughs> Is that what they do in Romania? That's, huh? where, you, that's where you become a man. You when, you get, when you get 20, <laughs> you start donkey. throwing chickens at you. Anything, all anything, yeah. Save your life, you know? <laughs> right, right, right. Dino, we fucking make Keep the next going, move. Transition. Maybe get her number. Shit, Try man. to get her number or something. So can I get that Instagram? Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, Why my not? Instagram's sick. You're going to love it. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, and then say it. I guess if you want to say it for the podcast followers, you need, you need a hotspot, or for Leo to go immediately. Do <laughs> stop it, you Dre's need, girl. Come you, on, you need a hotspot, my G. <laughs> 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 you like the iPhone six? Shit, swag. <laughs> the iPhone six. I, I, t- I knew Dino would totally change his shit up once he came over and sat down next to a real. Earlier, he was just all oh, yeah, attitude and humor, Bryce. Yeah. Or like, but Dino oh, humor. Cool. <laughs> it was just Dino humor. It was dude. a different guy before yeah. there was a chick here. Yeah. yeah. And then he pulls it together. There was this guy, Uriah Faber, the MMA fighter. I used to know his brother. His brother was like, he got sucked up into a cult and they fed him acid every night. He like lost his mind. He would be totally crazy 23 and a half hours a day unless a hot chick was around and he would like pull it together. And he would be the most normal stockbroker type guy whenever there was pussy around. That's hilarious. That's how Dino is. Dino is, yeah. Look, they're hitting off. What the fuck? What were you guys talking about right there? Tupac, obviously. (laughs) 
greatest <laughs> who's the greatest rapper of all time, Dre? So you gotta choose. DMX. DMX, I like that. Yeah. Like Mine. That. For me. He's I mean uh, he has some of the biggest I DMX, mean DMX, then maybe Biggie after. Mm-hmm. But I like Biggie. But there's so many great ones. You can't really have like a top five, top ten. There's so many amazing artists. So. Yeah, for sure. Where do you put like um uh, Ja Rule on that list? <laughs> ja Rule? Yeah. Man, to be honest with you, I think Ja Rule. If he didn't get in, into the beef with uh, with Fifty, yeah, I think he would have been one of the top rappers. He, that guy, was, that guy had a good run from like ninety nine to like two thousand four. Uh-huh. Everything we were hearing on the radio at that time was like hits, ja. hits, hits. So very talented, but I guess he just happened to be with the wrong team at the wrong time. So he got roasted so bad by Fifty Cent that it ruined his career. That's basically yeah, what happened. Really? Then well, Fifty yeah. would just bully him for years he would buy like the first three rows of his all his concerts by every seat like it's the craziest thing ever so i didn't used to do that. a documentary dude i didn't so I, I didn't know that like 50 like a lot of people think that that he's gonna get killed by ja rule one day because it's that bad but it's nuts bro damn it's nuts he goes back to the streets though there's yeah. a, a big history behind it a lot of streets you stuff know a little on. bit uh, yeah i know tell I us know. a little bit about the beginning how did it start that's that spat I just randomly threw out Jaw Rule, by the way. That was a great choice because <laughs> I mean, this guy is like a no, special so, so, rapper that got canceled. So 50, by, by 50 Cent said something about uh, Supreme. You know the Supreme Team. You heard of the Supreme Team wow, in LA? They ago, were like yeah. big, big drug dealers. Mm-hmm. And uh, 50 Cent in one of the songs said something about uh, one of the members of the Supreme Team. Mm-hmm. And this guy was very close to Irv Gotti, mm-hmm. so Irv Gotti was associated to the Supreme Team, and then. The Supreme Team wanted to go after 50, mm. and it became basically like a personal thing for Irv Gotti being associated with those people. Super, the Supreme so team. basically, yeah, you know, that, those, those are the people that shot 50. Mm. Oh, and okay. he recovered, so that's why he was going against. He wasn't going against Ja Rule. Ja Rule just happened to be part of that, that whole situation, mm-hmm. and it became personal because those are the people that, you Try know. to kill. They shot him yeah, nine times. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So yeah. it was it was more more of a street thing and more right. like a statement than anything personal with ja Rule's music mm-hmm. behind the scenes stuff. But yeah. hey, it's unfortunate. I mean, you know, talent. They're, they're both really talented. You know, mm-hmm. ja Rule had his run. Fifty is one of the you know biggest moguls now doing TV shows and everything. So yeah, it's huge. Yeah. A, he's probably got a big cock too. I had a white girlfriend back in the day who wanted to fuck fifty bad. Oh yeah, that probably was disturbing. The too. big cock guys. Pretty soon you're going to be the mogul that my white girlfriend's going to want to have sex with. Mm-hmm. Send him my way. Well, I like that you're representing <laughs> Europe in the rap game, though. They need that. I mean, the English. What do you think about the English rappers? They they kind of sound funny to me. I still. think the English rappers is like. They have like their own little thing going on. I don't yeah. see nobody in Atlanta listening to that. Nobody in New no, York listening to it's that. Too gay. It's just no, it it's is. just something that works only in that part of it's, the it's part too, of the world. It's too it, bitter. It's pretty. It'd be like Jews listening to German rap. Like people in America, <laughs> we don't. We just picture red coats. Like yo, we sail on the east winds. The, the Revolutionary War, we will win. Like, but, <laughs> That's how it is, dude. It is kind of like that, dude. Yeah, it's fucking bullshit. It and um, yeah, they won't they won't go for that. But I just want to know how many euros. Does it cost for you to do a concert? I mean, depends. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> that was like a shit. I'm trying to do the math in my head. Uh, I mean, do you do you work for euros? I work. You know, I got a euro sign on my elbow right here. Wow. I mean, I accept all kinds of monetary uh, yeah. payments. You know, it yeah. doesn't sexual Bitcoin. favors. <laughs> Let's give the sexual. Yeah. <laughs> Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah. But now the euro and the dollar, like the euro lost a lot of value right now. The dollar is going strong. Yeah, the euro sucks, dude. Yeah, you got to get yeah. over here. You got to become an American citizen. Yeah, I am. I am an American oh, citizen. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Who did you fuck or marry to become an American citizen? Man, it's a long story. So Is that why, Marcella, my, is that why you're trying to get your green card at this guy? I got it already. She, she, nice. she, she, she handled Not from it. him, but Not somebody. I got married before. Nice. You got to do it. Here. You gotta yeah, do it. We do our business right. Yeah. But, uh, Did you? <laughs> are you? Are you still with the person you <laughs> got your green card no, let from? Let me tell you what happened. My actually, my dad won the visa lottery in the nineties. Wow! So when I moved here in two thousand, they got they gave me everything. They gave me a green card, social security, and I became a citizen in two thousand five. You should lie and say you fucked a fat white chick. I mean, like your citizenship. Uh-huh. For different purposes, yeah, you know, if you not, not visa purposes. <laughs> Marcella, <laughs> tell us all the gritty details. How did you get your citizenship? Uh, yeah, I actually, I got married, you know. Did you like uh, the guy? I loved him. 
Actually, we we was talking about this before we got here. I actually he's he's Brazilian, but he's a he, but he's American also. He's what, been here for like twenty five years. What if so. it was Fabio? Boy, That'd be the funny. I, I think I married this girl, <laughs> Marcelo, bro. She got she make a dance. Oh, and he was a black black. He was a black belt belt jiu jitsu. A black belt jiu jitsu. You, 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 you was a black belt jiu jitsu. I she I purple belt. He probably he knows a purple belt. The girl, <laughs> he's very serious about jiu jitsu. She, she, nice yeah, face, yeah, yeah, yeah. beautiful teeth. She make a the hop music. Bro, <laughs> oh, you're, oh, you're, oh, yeah. I just want to make it the fucking get the citizenship. Then we go for acai. Oh ah. We kind of like, yeah. I, I actually <laughs> we got married after three months after my like my my first three months here in the United States. Mm -hmm. Literally, we fell in love. You know what I'm saying? And then we started living together. And then he knew about my dream, everything. Mm -hmm. So he supported me. And then he kind of like he offered me, you know, mm -hmm. like. I can help you with that. Mm -hmm. But he loved me. Mm -hmm. We're not together anymore. I just got a divorce. Unfortunately. But... Unfortunately. <laughs> no, but back. actually, we're very good <laughs> friends. You know, we're yeah. very good friends. It was meant to be until that time. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? Now I just got to do what I got to do, you know, with my music and yeah. everything. You know, everything's a process. I had to learn English. I got my papers. It sounds good. I'm Your English is here. good. Thank you very much. I very learned good. all by myself. I learned when I got here. I learned all by myself. That's you good. Know what Congratulations. I'm I, Thank the you. guy I'm making fun of was my Brazilian jiu jitsu instructor, and he's been <laughs> in America for like 20 years, and his English is still like, boy, I think if we go to the beach and meet <laughs> the girl, <laughs> make her the fuck it. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's why I got an accent still. It works for women. They love uh, it. I think I can see that. It, it works. It's true. Like, you know, like, Trey, I, get, keep that big cock away from me. I don't uh, want to hear about you just getting look any more women, dude. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look towards the, the sun. Uh, look towards the fucking, sun. You asshole, dude. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> tired of these Her fucking ex-husband probably had a huge cock, too. I mean, like, probably. Does. Oh, yeah. That shit was huge, bro. God oh. damn. Oh. <laughs> was it? <laughs> what? Really? I, I would have showed the picture, but not here, though. Too but, much? Yeah, that was like... I... <laughs> Too much. She's, I mean, yeah, that was like one of the reasons they broke up. That was like up. kind <laughs> one of, the of reasons this. Too big. It was kind of like this right here, but <laughs> a little bit longer than that. Well, fuck, Danny, <laughs> Diddy, what the fuck? Are we getting cocked? I'm, I'm leaving. This I'm leaving. sucks. I think we should end the episode right we there. We should end the episode on <laughs> everyone has a big cock. Let's end it on uh, what a Dre oh, was your best every song. One though. Another? I've been seeing some nah, some things like this. Really? Uh, that shit was depressing, bro. Oh my Which one? God. The huge one or the small one? Oh, the small one for <laughs> sure. Oh my God. <laughs> I was holding out hope for the big one. God damn it. Small well, but sure. some girls, they like a small. Like, I heard like some of my girlfriends, they'd be like, oh no, that's too big for me. I, I need a small one. Be like, bitch, yeah, are you got, for, how are we going to feel? They're looking for ear like, penetration. Don't even feel ear penetration. <laughs> Dino likes this. You don't even this. feel anything. <laughs> big cock Dino likes it. Hey. Over He's got a big one, he says. He looks like he does. He does? Oh, wow. That's, he <laughs> looks like tell. he does. The bass shines through. Some guys, they look like they... <sighs> Not so much. Some guys, mm -hmm. they do. Like, I can read, guys. Oh, wow. I, can I be hate like, her. Um, Keep her away That from one, me. he has... That one is big. That right. one is. Uh, She's pointing at the black man, so that was that was easy. <laughs> no, no, no. I actually did... No, no. Uh, well, I didn't invisible, point to him. Invisible. <laughs> invisible. <laughs> Well, Listen. where where can we find you, Dre? And then we're gonna play one of your songs to yeah. end. And then uh, uh, you, Marcella, where can we find you? Your Instagram and what? Do you oh, uh, it's Marcella Bessie. No, no, no. It's Marcella under. It's underscore right. Underscore. underscore. Yeah, underscore. yeah. It's M A R C E L A underscore Bessie B E S S I. And I'm dropping my first single. It's gonna be hip hop, and we're gonna kill Hell that yeah. shit. What's the name? Oh, the single. Look at me. Look, Look at, at me. me. Hell yeah. All Look right. at me. Dre? I don't want yeah, it. Yeah, you can she find me on IG. <laughs> IG. Follow Dre. Dre Ross, D R E I R O S. A real alpha male, you know you what know, I mean? The real, big cock guy. You know, we're promoting masculinity <laughs> in 2022. We are. 2023. You know, you we need to bring the real man back, you know. Is Living Fast, this is a good yeah, one? Yeah, this is, this is my last one. Yeah, oh, Living yeah. Fast. And we'll That's leave the episode. It's produced by, uh, by Dini. He's my producer. Hell yeah. Nice we shot the fun. video in uh, Connecticut and Bronx in New York. Hell yeah. yeah. Connecticut's yeah. not a very good place to film a hip-hop video, but... I mean, we, we went, that's where my producer is from, that's where, that's where the rich white people live. That's kind of we we went to the projects in, on better. the side. That's better, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Where I get to go, they don't get to go. Try to ride away, but they miss the boat. And I get everything I want, that's in general. Yeah, calling all the shots, I'm the general. Hey, shawty, trying to run my car up. She really trying to get me caught up. I'm getting yeah, money, I'm cool. a Thank you, thank you. By now I learned.
trying to keep my guard up. I'm Bryce shoots videos. Yeah, yeah porn videos. We know that. Yeah. I'm just letting all it pile up. Then dive in. I've been moving very silent. I'm violent. Cause I heard that it's about timing. Oh, and it's my time now. Never on time out. Knew I was legend. Knew I was king. Y'all gotta bow down. I'm really balling. I need a ring. They wanna shout out. But they wasn't shooting with me in the gym. But they wanna call now. I pick up the phone and telling them where I get to go. They don't get to go. They don't get to try to ride away, but they miss the boat. And I get everything I want that's in general. Yo, calling all the shots. I'm the general. At Yankee Stadium, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right in front of Yankee Stadium. I'm getting money. Gotta love it. By now I learn to keep my guard up. I'm living fast. And they can pass me up. Cool thing about push ups, right? No drinking, no smoking, right? No, I don't drink no smoking. I love that. Kids. Yeah. He doesn't he barely drinks he barely. Yeah. barely. Yeah. I'm pretty sober. I get a lot of pussy, right? Or I used to back in my head. He's good for breakfast. Yeah. What, pussy? <laughs> yeah. Good for breakfast. Right? <laughs> Do you pull your huge hog out at the end of this? <laughs> no, man. That would be funny. That's going to be at least $40 per view, you know? Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> About OnlyFans, you know? I'll meet you in the parking lot with some cash. That might be worth it. But you guys, you guys got OnlyFans? Nah. Him and I no. do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah and at least the two do. They have a, a brotherly incest German. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they wear the Luther hoses. Yeah. I gotta take you guys to Romania. Yeah, that oh, would be yeah. unbelievable. So we go to Dracula's castle. We go, we go to Romania and you guys interview Andrew Tate. That's the show. Oh, oh my God. God. That'd be That's huge. the show. That'd be ridiculous, bro. Yeah. So if I go in spring and I connect with him, I'll invite you. Yeah, guys. that would be insane, man. We'll do it. Yeah. All right, guys. Hey, follow everybody. We'll put their links in the bio too. And thank you. Nope. And check out the Patreon too. Another episode. Leo and friends. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. Peace.